Alright, what's up everyone? So, today we're going to be playing some Pokemon XY in the Kalos region, Generation 6. Uh, so yeah, Truly's with me here, he's going to be helping me commentate. Um, first, thi first thing we're going to do here is we're going to set the time before the run. I'll explain why in a second, but I'm just going to do that right now, and then I'll get the run started after I enter the game. Yeah. Um, so basically, I've set my date and I've set my time. Um, I've set my date to February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. Um, we'll start the run in a second. So, uh, three, two, one, go. Um, so I've set it to Valentine's Day because there is a girl in Camp for Your Town, which is pretty early in the game who gives an item called the Sweetheart, which is an item that effectively acts as a potion, basically. It just yep. heals 20 HP. Exactly. But what it also does is it increases your friendship by one. And that's going to be very useful for us in the run. And by setting our date to February 14th, we get five of them instead of one. Yep. So Valentine's Day. Every other day you get one, right? No, I think, I think March 14th also works. And March 14th also works, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. some holiday in Japan, but... And also, I don't know if you said about your time, but setting the time to a very specific time also matters. Um, because later on, it's also going to help us with our friendship. Um, yes. I, if, when we get there, we'll talk about it, but um, it, it's, it's very precise. There's also a couple other little reasons that our time can matter, so... Uh, those th things come up, we'll definitely talk about it for sure. Yes. So you saw me pick the girl there. Um, like most Pokemon speedruns, the girl is just strictly better for this game. Not necessarily because it's just faster to pick it, but more so because the gender you pick changes the rival fights that you fight. And the ones with the male, uh, Kalem, are generally safer. So that's why we go with that. Not only in marathon runs, but also in PB attempts. Yep. It's better. We're gonna Here set our options. options. Yep. Uh, it's funny because in ORAS, uh, it's a little different than setting your options. You gotta set options one through four in ORAS. In this game, you gotta set one, two, three, and five. So it's just kind of awkward. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna be using Tepic, Oshawott, or Snivy. <laughs> um, that is one generation too early. So yeah, this is actually, I, I think this route is really interesting, because if I, recall, if I recall correctly, Pokemon XY is the only main series Pokemon game to have more than two main switches. So yeah, we're going to be using that's... four different Pokemon over the course of the run. Yeah, which is really so, cool. Really it's, cool. Yeah. One of my favorite parts about this run, just... This, this run's just broken down into sections, and really cool. Yeah. Definitely. Very unique. So we're gonna be go talking to our many friends here. We have so many friends, we're so popular. And they're gonna give us a nickname for whatever reason. And then we're gonna get a starter. If there's any shiny hunters out there, this is one of the longer starter resets in the entirety of Pokemon. It's around like three minutes per reset. Because this cutscene is just so long. Oh, and you literally can't check till after, huh? Yep. So we're picking Chespin here. Pretty good reason why we're picking Chespin. Um, although it is slow and sometimes fails to run away from Pokemon in the forest coming up here. Um, it has the most amount of power this early in the game. It has a Vine Whip, which in this game is 45 power. Um, and it has pretty high attack. So it is the only Pokemon that can consistently two-shot some of the early gen, early game pokes. Exactly. And also, later in the run, we don't want our rival to actually have final yes. evolution of Chestnut. We don't want it to have a uh, Chestnut. In that too, yes. Yeah. It's actually pretty important that it has uh, beat one of the other starters. Yeah, Chespin and Chespin line is just very bulky, and the yeah, type exactly. isn't great for Lucario and Halucha to fight. Yeah, so realistically, we could take any of the starters and it would work. We could definitely make it work, but yeah, it definitely helps 
for that reason. Or may do it for that reason. So we're just gonna fight Shauna here before we go back to our mom's house. Just doing our first bad enough battle. on this fight and get growled sometimes you can three shot it. You know, it's kind of annoying sometimes. Let's see if we have a good chest bin or not. That's a very good chest bin, actually. A 10 speed? 10 speed, which is good pretty average. Yeah. The 14 attack is very good. Yeah, exactly. Like um, 10 speed has a chance of not running away from some stuff, but it's not, like, too likely. Yeah, you can have 8 or 9, so it's, like, yeah. definitely better than that. So, yeah, um... The movement in this game is a little bit different than movement you may have seen in some previous generations. We've had, you know, Heart Gold Soul Silver, we've had Emerald, we've had all the games where there's 2D movement with, you know, just sprites and stuff. But in this game, all the movement's basically three-dimensional, and it's a bit different. This is the first 3D game. Yeah. So... Um, we have things like the roller skates, which have never been seen before and have not been seen since. Which, um, some runners don't really enjoy using. Yeah, Red Bob actually does have the chest and percent world record as well, so, a little fun fact for you. True, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, Red Bob's really good at this game. Uh, definitely one of the best. You're in for a treat today. I oh, with the Wartab as well. Yeah, I don't know how many of you guys saw Wartab's run at BSG, but... Very, very good run. Very, very good runner. I'm gonna try and do our best here, though. <laughs> this counter is always forced. Yeah. So you're always gonna get that Pidgey on that tile, regardless of what you do. Yep, even if you use a repel, you will still get that encounter. Little fun fact for you. A little catching the door here, and... Kalen's gonna make us think we get a bundle bee, but we really don't. Kalen's gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be right Yeah. In front of her eyes. Right. <laughs> with 50 Pokeballs. Uh, yeah, and it's gonna lead us into one of the first reset points, if we were doing an actual PV attempt in the run. Uh, we're gonna need to find a bundle bee, and that's a 20% chance to find it in this grass coming up. Uh, it's pretty important we find a bundle bee because we need a two trade for one of our next mains coming up yep. in the next city in Santillan. And in generation six and seven, uh, including this game, um, on the first row of the game, all the catches are guaranteed. So as soon as you find a bundle bee, we could just throw a ball and it will get in, which is really nice. Yeah. Pretty much you're just trying to find one. Oh yeah. Hopefully we're not here for another yeah. 10 minutes. Ideally it's just this first one. Good try. Yeah, once you do this so many times, you start just real- you know all the encounter rates and what the chances to get every Pokemon and... Exactly, exactly. But it, it, it comes out to be about a coin flip with three encounters for a chance to find a bundle bee, but... Yeah, pretty much, yeah, it's like almost exactly a coin flip. Thank you, Thomas Patrick, WX. This is encounter number three coming up. Will you find every other encounter? <laughs> that'd be that'd be that'd be cool. Hope not. Yeah, so we also found a fletchling and a scatterbug. Those are also twenty percent to find them. So, the unfortunate. We're on our way. Um what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, yeah there's, just, um, there's really just nothing you can do here. You just have to find a bundle bee. I mean, sometimes yeah. On on world record right attempts, away. on world record yeah. attempts, you would um, pretty much reset three encounters yeah. here. Yeah, for sure. But obviously, we're not doing that today. Sometimes you can just 
you know, sit here for 20 encounters, and sometimes you can just get it in one, like, it's just how it goes sometimes. And it's getting a little silly. I think that's encounter number six without a bunnelby. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's gonna be this one right here, though. I'm just feeling it. All right. I'm down. All right, I lied. But <laughs> it's Zigzagoon's also 15%, I think. Right? Not sure. Uh, yeah. Yep. That rings a bell, though. Good morning, the only, the only one we're missing now is uh, is Weedle. Oh, and Pidgey. And the bunny. Where is and the, the bunny? bunny. <laughs> this is really unfortunate. Uh, it's just how this goes sometimes. Is there a Weedle? There's a Weedle. <laughs> so we've officially found every encounter on this on Route 1 besides uh, the one encounter we need. Why have we seen his looks like been so many times? True. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Aspect was commentating with me. Hello, Aspect. <laughs> I've seen Zigzagoon again so many times. I think, yeah, Zigzagoon again is 15%. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Yeah. This is kind of getting a little crazy. I mean, believe it or not, we we are favored to see a bunny by now. Oh, easily. Right. By now, it's like probably like 85% have seen a bunny. I've never seen it take even close to this long. Yeah. My well, record is said. 27 encounters without a bunny. <laughs> 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 Who has that? Ekman? Uh, no, that's my, my record. Oh. Uh, yeah. I know Ekman has a crazy record like that, too. And I'm sure Wartab also has something crazy like that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, 27 is a little... And, and, what, what and, is, ke and keep into account that with that 27, he's resetting every, you know, with, you know, top-end PB attempts. You're resetting, you know, three encounters for a bundle B, so... He's resetting every three bunny encounters there. 27. I've lost count, but it's definitely over 10 by now. Yeah, I'll also lost count. I'm assuming this is like 14, maybe 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy as well. <laughs> I've honestly never, I've never seen it. This is I mean, I've definitely flashbacks seen to that. missing Sandshrew Minip in gold <laughs> and trying to find one. But what's the chance for Bunnel B again? 20%. It's 1 in 5. In the wrong bush. <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good question. This is like actually insane though. The fact that we haven't found a bunny yet. I mean, want to look at the timer. It's probably gonna be like not even sub fifteen. We're pushing. I think we're pushing. I think we're pushing tight. At least this is kind of. Let me go back a row of rest to get one, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Saving all our RNG for uh, Halucha in a bit. Yeah. Getting crazy. <laughs> I mean, that, that is something, Jester, yeah. I agree, Jordan. <laughs> Alright. Okay, be e easily hour. over 20. Easily over 20 at this point. Yeah, everyone should speedrun Pokemon XY. It's a very fun experience, and there's a lot of different fun things about this game that make it a lot of fun. <laughs> we mentioned fun. It's fun. Remember, it's 20%, and we've seen about 20 encounters. About one every five encounters should be a Bonobi, theoretically speaking. 
We should have saw at least four bunnies by now. Any bunnies? <laughs> yeah, might as well just break the record. I, I think we're, we're like really close. Like, really, really close. Hey, Let's what's go! up? <laughs> Let's go. All right. if, I nice. guess that was, if I had to guess, that was like 25 encounters. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm going to go back and watch the VOD and see and count. Oh, oh my god. Congrats on Sub 15, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. So, great way to st showcase this run. Great way to start off the run. Um, so yeah, you have to start every run with this kind of this kind of grind. Yeah, um, I mean that was just really, really unfortunate. It shouldn't take that long ever, but you know, we're moving on. Yeah, the estimates already in the water. We're <laughs> ten minutes in. <laughs> it's all good. You can just, you know, we're gonna get Hubby's first try, Kobe. Gonna make up for a lot. Yeah, we're just killing these. There's a couple still trainers. Some, still like, let's see, doesn't matter. Fifteen attack. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, once so you level always... up after the Zigzagoon, it's pretty. You're pretty chilling, honestly. Yeah. So you don't have like really bad uh, speed, really bad. Let me get this potion, or try to get this potion for safety. Yeah. Fair play. Honestly, I didn't even know that was a potion. It is the fastest potion to get, so I figured I would. Yeah. Oh, I haven't even I haven't even explained the IV calcs. Um. So, in the top left where the camera normally is, um, we have three different IV calculators. So we use these in Pokemon speedruns to try and find um, a Pokemon's individual values. Basically just how good it is. That's, That's crazy. That's really fair, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, um, we got no encounters in the forest to the, this fight. It's pretty, pretty fair after what we just went through. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so yeah, we're trying, we have IV calc set up for our three next main, not not our chest spin, but the three next mains in the run. Um, basically just trying to figure out how good or bad they are. The last one, you have, you see you already have the numbers plugged in already because we know exactly what it is going to be. Yeah. And I'll maybe talk about that when we get there. Yeah. Alright, what, what are you guys' guesses? Official guesses. I have the number. Uh, uh 24. Like 19. No, way more than that for sure. Twenty-one. Head, 21. Head Bob is on the money. It was twenty-four. Let's go. Guys. That's insane, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we went. We, we went through so much to get our bunny. So got to see. Finally, see what you know. We went through all that for. Uh, this isn't. This actually isn't Ranger. Uh, fortunate. These are just all three of the IV calcs just layered on top of each other. But yeah, shout out to May for making Ranger nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, very useful tool. I guess we'll talk about this now since people are asking about it. Um, so I set my time to 2300, which means that, roughly speaking, you need to get your first... So we're, we're going to get massages in a city later on, and that's for friendship yeah. spe speaking. So we set our time to a specific time so that we have a chance of it rolling over in between the two massages so we can get two, which jumps our chances of getting the lucky egg up by quite a lot. Really clean movement there, by the way. That movement is very, very tricky. Um, executed perfectly. But yeah, um, we're gonna. It's almost pretty much impossible to get two massages from here because that bundle bee took so long. But we're gonna see. Yeah. We're trading our bundle bee right here for a Wacklin, aka Farfetched. Uh, it's just really, really good in the other game, and it just happens to have perfect moves to counter the first gym. Yeah. It's, and it's really. I learned good. Swords Dance, which we're gonna get later, and has yeah. perfect speed always, which is just really, really nice. Exactly. So like, you're probably wondering like. 
you know, his, so the, if you look at the IV calculator, the blue means that it is the minus nature, and the red means it's the plus nature. So this Quacklin is always going to be jolly, and it's always going to be 31 uh, IV speed as well. So it really, yep. really helps for consistency as well with the routing and stuff, with your Quacklin always being that speed. Yeah, it's really, really nice to um, to run from encounters, because there's a lot of encounters later on that are kind of over-level you. And it is nice to have something that has a chance of running away from things, because if we use Chespin the whole way through, we would struggle with that for a long time. Exactly. Yeah, so the, it, your speed's always going to be 31 IV, and then everything else is always just going to be random. And yeah, we start with Area Lace, which is just a really powerful move. And the Zigzagoon is a range right away. We have... Uh, Sometimes it lets you kind of know how good your or bad your attack is off that roll on the Zigzag game. I think if you get that range, you're just like, what, 25% just have? Uh, if you get the range, you are guaranteed to have at least 10 IV, but likely to have 20 or more. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously the better um, attack, the better, the better attack better overall but i mean it really doesn't matter as long as your quacklin is like decent it's good enough majority of the time so yeah you really just don't want it to be like bad if it's really bad you can sometimes not kill the bulbasaur on the next fight and that can really get kind of yeah. not great exactly. so we're just gonna follow the bubbles here very hand holdy thing this early in the game but i think it makes sense just being the first gym and all have a good day, Wanley. Oh, uh, the Mega Ruby run went... It went fine. It was pretty good. For a uh, last minute run. Yeah, so we have Aerial Ace for this gym, and it's, you know, it's really good. So yeah, Aerial Ace kills everything in this gym in one shot, except Viola's Ace. Hello, Amoeba. We're gonna see our stats at this level up, see if we have a good Quacklin or not. Okay. 19, 21, 19. Could be worse. Yep. Yeah, 16 to 19. Absolutely good enough for Quacklin. Yeah, 16 to 19 is plenty, yeah. Yeah. Like I said before, you really just want like what yeah is it, nine, nine 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 plus is what you yeah. really want really want anything less than nine nine plus that Bulbasaur becomes a range and it's just yeah it can kind of be annoying sometimes. So yeah, we're gonna hopefully two shot this Vivian. Um, it has Harden, so it would make it a bit uh, should have mentioned it a um, bit more of a scuffed fight. Yeah. Unless we crit here, we're gonna have to make it heal. Yeah, she always uses the potion when she's in red uh, HP. I don't know actually what the trigger point is for her to use the yeah, potion. Yeah, it's either 20% it's either HP or 25%, but either way, we get there, so. Yeah, you get this plus the infestation animation. I don't know why that animation plays. But... Yeah, it's actually the only animation that plays in the game for some reason. Very, very weird. Double plus two there. Not bad. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, we got knockoff there. Definitely uh, gonna teach that. That's gonna help for some fights later. Uh, Sit over Fury Tag, just don't really need it. No. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, Amiibo. Although, it would have been faster to skip the first main switch <laughs> in this run. <laughs> but, we have we have our Quacklin anyways. Right. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go into, uh, this is gonna be the first time we're seeing the roller skates come into play. Uh, gonna go into this trainer school. Grab some X attacks and some X defenses that uh, this guy gives us. Um, nice diagonal. I uh, need the X attacks for 
in fights later, and the dex defense uh, sell for good money. So yes, exactly. Need those. It's actually very important because you actually you want to get sword stance as early as you can, and without that, you kind of struggle to be able to sell enough things to um to be able to buy it. It costs ten thousand dollars. Yeah, it's not cheap. To get this repel. Even if your money's like slightly off, um, I don't think you can even afford sword stance. Yeah. Yeah. Very precise there. Very good executed. Yeah, so the, the, the skates can definitely be very like tricky if you're not used to them. Exactly. Once you get a once you get a handle on the skates and how they work and how to continue the boost, it actually is easier to control than you would think, in my opinion. Yeah. Just take some time with them. Gonna try and swizzle here. <laughs> and Lumios. Uh, yeah. I don't want to talk about swizzling unless I get it, so... <laughs> it yeah. maybe shouldn't have even brought it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna... She's uh, Cena and Dexio here are gonna show us to the Pokemon's lab. We're gonna try and make our way there and find our professor and teach us about the, the wonders of Pokemon. Shit. <laughs> yeah, um, so... Yeah. A little swizzle there. Yeah, a little swizzle. Pretty much what a swizzle is, it's like pretty much wherever you're like, you can like, there's a little trick you can do when you're on the skates where like you continuously keep the boost over and over and over again. There's like a, there, like, so pretty much how you do it is you kind of, you fully boost, but you kind of want to pull back a little bit. It's where like there's a little sweet spot in between, you know, just naturally sitting still and like full boost. And it just allows you to continue that boost over and over again. It's pretty yeah. tricky to do sometimes. Uh, most runners don't go for it, and it often doesn't yeah. actually save any time uh, exactly. if you don't do it perfectly. Um, but yeah, Very we tricky just trick to do though. Yeah, we just got some luxury balls. I didn't know if you saw that. Luxury balls yeah. again, essential for the run. Yeah, not um, only do we need them to catch stuff, but we actually need to sell a couple to make up some. Fifteen. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Literally think that. Uh, you saw everything on Route One. Like, yeah. Couple things in the forest. Um, but yeah, so we need so luxury balls. What they do is they increase. Um, to every friendship event, it adds one friendship, one additional friendship. Um, so there's a, the amount of friendship events that exist in the run is like infinitely helpful to get the lucky egg, and pretty hard to do without, I'd say. And then also, yeah, you sell. A thousand dollars worth of luxury balls in addition to that. This Bulbasaur is the Bulbasaur that can be arranged if you have a bad quack one. And even the range then, it's still a favorite range. It's still 9 and 16, but... It's a okay. good roll. Yeah. Alright, I'm down. That Squirtle is a uh, two-shot range, so I think it's like 80% or something. Like yeah, we that. actually basically just hit the threshold for that range to be yeah. reasonable to get, like barely. And it can also use withdraw anyways, so. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, if it, if it goes to withdraw, you literally just can't hit the range unless you crit, so. We're gonna pick Bulbasaur because it's the best starter. Doesn't actually matter which one you pick. Yeah. Yeah, it really it doesn't matter. You can take any of them. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> that brought people awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, there used to be a strat where Squirtle um, significantly increased your chances of winning in a fight later on, but now it doesn't really matter because, yeah, you use a pretty consistent strat. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of random cutscenes throughout this run. It's just how it is sometimes, but. I wonder who this man it. is. We're gonna figure out yeah. soon enough. <laughs> Question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it does, Ekman, yeah. I mean, for the. I think, sure. the I think theoretically speaking, yeah, it does. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go into the Pokemon Center here, gonna deposit everything that we uh, don't need for right now, all our pokes that we don't need, so that'd be the Bulbasaur and the Chessman. Uh, yeah, the double fight as soon as you exit Lumios, so... Right. No, just make a mistake or two. Um, uh, yeah, and this is also where we're gonna sell everything that we bought, we're gonna sell all of our Pokeballs. Um, X defenses and then two of the luxury balls. It's very important that it's only two of the luxury balls there. And then buy swords dance, and then we have 250 or 225 left over. Yeah. Very nice. And that swords dance, the fact that we can get swords dance like now, you know, we're 20 minutes into the game, 30 minutes into the game, like pretty crazy. Just helps so much for Quacklin. It's crazy. And not only Quackland, I mean, we use it for literally all three of our uh, mains throughout the run, so. Yeah, physical attackers are very much favored in X and Y. Um, special attackers are not, I mean, obviously they do a lot more damage, like, and usually have better types, but the problem is, although X items are in the first town of the game, uh, they're blocked by a cutscene with your rival Tierno that takes about 20, 15, 20 seconds. So, and also using swords dance is really fast setting up with it. Yeah, like really fast, just the way like uh, text works in Gen Six and stuff like that. It's just, it's just, it's way faster just to use a like you know, a move that can set you up compared to just using an X item. Is that how fast the text moves? Yeah, another thing I didn't talk about. Although we, although we uh, um, set fast text in most Pokemon games, in Gen 6 especially, Gen 6 and 7 really, the text moves like so fast that nicknaming yourself doesn't actually save time. Yeah, exactly. Um, nicknaming yourself or your Pokemon. Yeah. At all. Uh, 24 encounters, Ekman. Uh, but yeah, um, I lost my train of thought again. <laughs> yeah, all good. So uh, yeah, we deposited uh, our Pokemon, and that's to skip this double battle right here. Also, so our Pokemon don't get experience and stuff too. But... Yeah, gonna repel that we got earlier and teach Swords Dance right away. Pretty useful move. In battle, our good friend Tyranno here. Whose signature focus Corfish. He's a, he's a he's a big fan of seeing seeing good moves, and actually the good move that he's picked here is Swords Dance. Yeah, so a good example, I guess, of uh, you know setting up being faster. There is a strat on this fight if you have really good attack, where you can just attack it twice and hope to kill it. But mm. if you don't get the two shot range. Um, it's actually slower to go for that because you attacked it twice or you would be attacking it three times compared to just, you know, setting up twice and then attacking it once. So, I pulled that. One of the many. And we're going to do a little bit of movement here yep. and we're going to shop again afterwards. Even though we just did. Because money is fairly tight. 
as you might have seen. That was so unbelievably early. Yeah, let's go. That was unfortunate. It's okay. That 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 movement is very very tricky. I can't believe that, dude. Okay, good thing this is just a one shot, but still. Easy one shot, no big deal. Um, extra X XP for ENT. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and never repel steps. <laughs> nice. Makes sense. Yeah, so, so we get here. Uh, we're going to grab the star piece under this town right away and then buy some stuff. Yeah, so we bought Swords Dance in the last shop, but that's all we could really afford, so we kind of have to do yeah, another definitely. shop to buy, like, the normal yeah, need, stuff. Yeah, I need some repels, need some healing items. So we're gonna get that here. Hello, Ananan. Yeah, sell this RP for some money. Buy one antidote and then two awakenings. Could have bought something else. Yeah, but... <laughs> True. Yeah, I mean, all you really need is just not to not have a thousand dollars at that point, because yeah. um, we're gonna enter a palace coming up here, and he charges you an entrance fee normally of a thousand dollars. But if you don't have it, then you just don't have to pay, and it's faster. So, be nice. Yeah, sorry, I need to close my door. That's crazy. So this is where we're gonna get our sweethearts that we talked about earlier. Five of them. And we got the berry juice also, which we're gonna use in the next fight. Yep. I say the, I say the next fight like it's like coming up soon, but it's still gonna be in like seven minutes. <laughs> Yeah, this split is, there's only like two fights on the split, but it's like one of the longer splits in the run. Yeah. But like, this split has a lot of execution on it, so like, it's not, I kind of enjoy doing this split. It's pretty satisfying. Yeah, and that movement right there is pretty tricky. Uh, you don't want to be too far right there. Because then you can get an encounter from the bush on the right, but you also don't want to be too far left. Just because there's an optional trainer on the left, so it's, there's a very like specific pile you can be on going up there, and it's just yeah. yeah, it's just very tricky. And you're on the skates, it's just yeah, pretty tough movement for sure. And then yeah, grab that orange berry. That's gonna help for uh, some stuff later, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, hard Maybe, to explain right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely is. But it's gonna be it's gonna be something later that will help us to continue the run. So yeah, we're gonna take this very. This is a very quintessential part of the story, this whole palace cutscene, so we're gonna make sure we do every part of it and, you know, help this guy find his fur fru. Yep. Yep. Again, this execution is actually pretty, like, hard. Uh, doing this... Doing this puzzle, like, perfectly, it's actually pretty tough, so... I always get, you know, I just enjoy doing this part. And it's satisfying watching uh, people do it as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is just like a... You kind of have to back the fur fur into a corner so that you can capture it and bring it back to its owner. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so we're going to use Shauna's position to try and do that.
Yeah, pretty much we have to maneuver Shauna around in the puzzle while also moving the Furfuru. That was well executed. Very nice. Nice! Yeah, it's a couple extra steps there, but it's not a big <laughs> deal. Fine. Yeah, it's all good. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna give the guy back his Furfuru, who doesn't really deserve it because he's very... not very nice. But, you know, just be nice back. Yep. Uh, and now after this part, this is where the split just kind of gets... It's just like whatever, it's just smashing a little bit and... Observing. Oh, actually, yeah, we're gonna grab this rare candy, actually. It's like really important rare candy to grab. Uh, the one useful part about coming here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, there's also a revive here that's like super out of the way that I could have gotten, but. How would you even use it, though? I mean, later. If you, like. If you, like. If you die early in the game. Yeah, you yeah. You can, like. Most of the time, you only have one Pokemon, so it wouldn't be. Yeah, useful. exactly. You would just faint and go somewhere. Yeah. Very nice. This was a good split, except for you know, fighting a trainer that you don't have to fight. So yeah, we're just gonna we're talking to Shauna, having a nice little wholesome moment with her. We're gonna watch these these fireworks. Yeah. Looks very nice exactly. at night. We did come here for the poke flute after all. Imagine some. <laughs> Imagine sometimes you have to watch this during the day. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That was very nice. Yep. Just, you know, had to absorb that for a minute. <laughs> the moment one of the moments of all time one of the moments of all time exactly yeah so coming up is gonna be one of the probably one of the worst fights in the run I would say by far the worst fight in the early game it's not really yeah. close <laughs> Uh, it kills. It can, it can potentially kill your runs, and if it doesn't kill your runs, it can just lose you a lot of time if it goes poorly. So, it's actually kind of weird because it can actually save you some time depending on how it goes. Yeah. Um, but basically, how it works is like generally, if you're gonna die on this fight, you would die like turn one or two, really. Mm -hmm. And so it really just depends on whether Caleb can beat the fight quicker. But then on top of that. You don't get extra experience, so you are a lower level for the coming routes, which means you can get more encounters. So that's really what it comes down to. It's just, you know, yeah, getting much lucky. It's a true double battle, and you're fighting against Trevor and Tierno, and he has a Pikachu and a Corphish, and the Corphish can set up Swords Dance, and the Pikachu has a Thundershock. And obviously, you know, they have a Quacklin, so that can get really ugly really quickly. Yeah, so that's why we're going to use the berry juice, so we are more likely to not have to heal in the fight. Yeah, it's actually really, really sick how the berry juice can save you on this fight sometimes. Yeah, but sometimes it's really awkward. Generally, it's in a spot, like Truly said, where if you get Sword Stance from Corefish, you'll be put in a position where the Pikachu hits you, like, right outside of berry juice range, and then Corefish just kills you. So the berry juice doesn't even get procced. Okay. Are you going to save for this fight? Yes, I will. Yeah, dying is not not the best. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you actually can continue if you die on this fight, but it loses you money and you're, you're underleveled a little bit, so not really ideal. Yeah. We're already, we're, we're already going to be a little underleveled anyways, so like, we don't want to be even more underleveled. One of the crazy things about XY in this section, about just the sheer lack of mandatory trainers, like there's so many trainers at this point in the game from, from Sycamore where we fought the three starters until Grant, but there's like so little of them that are actually mandatory, so we're ending, we're going to end up being unbelievably underleveled. Are 
I guess you could say, like, after the painter. Yeah. I can use a potion. Oh, I have another one. I'm gonna equip the berry juice as well. I'm gonna save. Saving's really fast in this game, so it's no big deal to save on stuff. Although not. Yeah, I'm just hoping the best here. This is uh, Trevor and Tierno. Definitely one of the worst fights in the game. Well, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna set up Swords Dance on Quacklin. Pikachu is probably gonna Thundershock us or Fletchling. I do this Fletchling and it did us. Um, Could definitely do over half to this Corefish, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So as long as Pikachu Ember, or as long as Bright breaks in Embers, Pikachu, this will be a really good fight. Yeah. Which is not, you know, close to guaranteed, but... Corpus is down, that's big. Yeah, really, really yeah. good fight. Very good, yeah. Not even happen to attack the Pikachu, like, not only the Pikachu can attack us, but if we have to attack the Pikachu, it has static, so... Also, 16 for this full baby, so it actually has a decent chance to die without breaks and self. Good HP. Plus. That's a really good fight. Yeah. I like to see that. Still a berry juice, yeah. 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 Go down and get Definitely this PP happy up. happy to have that fight. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this PP up. It can come in handy a little later. Or it's gonna come in handy later. Yeah, everything we pick up from this point is actually very important that we get it. I'm just gonna heal here. Just... Yeah, definitely. Um, you don't yeah, have so... to heal here. In a PV attempt, I probably wouldn't go for the heal there. Um, yeah, just but, let your safety. Um, it is really nice because we're gonna come up in the spot here where things can outspeed you. You encounter a lot of Pokemon, things can outspeed you. Even yeah. with the perfect speed. Um, and it's also a, one of the reasons if you lose that last fight, you, you'd you be under leveled for this part and you have chances to get encounters here. Which is the reason, like, yeah, you can continue if you lose that fight, but it's like, do you really want to? There is backups though if you do die, if you do die and you do continue as well. Uh, not too big video. Oh yeah, so this is this this split that we're on now. Uh, it's in my opinion probably one of the worst splits in like a Pokemon speedrun at a top level. It's just it can get it's just really annoying with the variants and. You just need things to go so well. Yeah. And it's so not likely for things to go well. But yeah. So pretty much we're going to start on this Rhyhorn. And even though we're level 16, there is, what, you can get level 16, 17s, or 18s? No. The only thing it's that the Repel breaks... So we're going to Repel, right? Um, yeah. So the only thing that the Repel blocks is level 15 encounters. And we can still yeah. encounter level 16 and 17 folks. Yeah. So... Doesn't actually help all that much, but gives us a chance of getting zero encounters. Whereas if we didn't have the repel up, yeah. we realistically couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just gonna. So we're on our way to Glittering Cave here, which is where Team Flare has been doing some bad stuff. I don't even know what they're doing, but they're doing some bad stuff. <laughs> Getting get the fossils, I think. <laughs> yeah. So not only can you get encounters here, we're gonna go into the cave. And that brings a whole nother layer of just random encounters that you can get in there. And there's really nothing you can do about it. I don't remember how many total you can get with the shadows. You can get up to five. 
Yeah, um, you, with the path we take, you can get up to five. I think you're guaranteed at least two, and no more than five in the cave. That's unfortunate. That's like last step counter. Is it five or six? It's definitely five. Yeah. So I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna save just because I have full HP and the berry juice. Um, so if I encountered a problem, which ideally I don't even encounter a problem at all, um, I'll be able to, you know, just get away without dying. Not even a problem. See you later, Onyx. Yeah, that Onyx is one of the main reasons that this place can get scary if you get a random encounter. Yeah, so all these all these shadow encounters you get, they're just random if they spawn here or not. Sometimes you can just run through this place and get, you know... I think, I think the lowest I've gotten personally is... Like, I, don't, I don't think I've ever gotten one, but I've definitely gotten... Plenty times. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so this so rock. We encountered two of the rare encounters right away. Very unfortunate. This rock, one encountering the soul rock, and then two it using fire spin and trapping you into the battle like that. At least we got some extra experience. Let's go. Yeah, so that's one of the only pokes that can trap you, besides, so it's that yeah. and Onyx can trap you in. Um, and only four of the pokes that you even have a chance of not running away from. So that's Solrock, Lunatone, Onyx, and Kangaskhan. Um, there's like eight different encounters in this cave altogether. Yeah, so. we haven't even seen the likely encounters yet. Okay, so yeah. at least we got that. Three to that point, kind of silly, on top of what, uh, getting trapped by the soul rock. I think that was seven total. Okay, so yeah, we're good. Yeah, now we're fine. We're through the cave. So that was six total. Yeah, so that's the big RNG fest of that part of the split. It's just nothing you can do. It's just you have to just go through it. Yeah, so six total is above average. Not very good. Yeah. Um, you want to be seeing five or less, but four is really good. Yeah, it's just it's just really unfortunate because there's literally nothing you can do about it. Yep. I've seen people go through that split and get you know two total encounters, but I've also seen people go through that split and get like ten. So they just get really silly. There are poisons here. It's not exactly the worst thing, despite what it may look like. But it does mean we're gonna have to heal after this fight, which I probably would have done anyways. I may actually save too. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not the worst idea, I think. Would have been nice to hit 18 there. Would have made that fight a lot better. But we have so much extra experience this run. So unprecedented. Yeah, we're already coming up on our double massage threshold, so <laughs> probably not gonna be hitting that. But if we get a if we get a, you know, first encounter Halucha, it's still technically possible. Yeah, exactly. Opium. So this fight, yeah, we have to set up three sword dances. Sometimes you can set up two and just go for the range on this. Uh. Yeah, so while you're poisoned, he has four moves. If you're poisoned, he only can use two of them, which are the two we've seen so far. Yeah. His other two moves are Yawn and Poison Gas, so there's a pretty good chance that you get poisoned anyways in this section, which is good because it allows you to die faster after these Flare Grunts, which is 
exactly. What we're gonna want to do. Yeah. There, there is a reason we're keeping this poison, so. Yeah. Normally you would obviously heal off poison, but yeah, we want to keep it for some stuff later. Right up to this next fight. So now I, I'm able to potion here, which is nice. So yeah. I can get it out of my inventory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Yeah, this fight, this fight can just go randomly weird, and you can just get double targeted on this fight. Another true double battle. Uh, there's a bunch of those in this game. Um, so yeah, um, normally this Scraggy would be a range to, to kill after a Swords Dance, but because we've hit level 18, it will always die, which is which is pretty nice. It makes the fight a lot more consistent. So in an ideal world, Esper would just Psybeam Pro Gunk on that turn, but it almost never does. It, light Screen's super favored. Yeah. The Scraggy is a range. I'm not sure what it is. It's, just... it's guaranteed in here. Okay. Oh yeah, because you're the level. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully Esper goes for the kill. And actually nice. does. Good job. Pretty fast fight. Yeah, that's a pretty good fight. We're gonna learn Slash here. <laughs> yeah, no worry. We have poison. Is. We're not too low HP, but that's alright. Being poison's the bigger part. Yeah. We haven't seen a Shadow Encounter yet, so hopefully we get one. Yeah, this part is the part you actually want to see an encounter. We didn't get any. So we're going to have to go back into the other part of the cave and get a shadow encounter there so that we can die. And the reason that we want to die is because going back on the Rhyhorn is really just that slow. It loses yeah. a lot of time. Exactly. Hopefully we find an Onyx. This is on the way out. Yeah, ideally you just get you can get like a shadow encounter literally just right around the corner here and you just encounter it right away, but it would have been really cool to show it off, but I'm not just they're, just they're just random. At least we got one here right away. Yeah. Hopefully it's something that can kill us quickly. This is pretty good, yeah. Yeah, this is actually fun. This has stomp and horn attack. Hammer poison, so keep this poison basically, so we're just we can die quicker here. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to take more hits. Yeah, so dying in two turns, pretty nice. Yeah, we're gonna go go back to uh, Amber Town, where I enter the center really quickly. Um, and we're gonna get Rock Smash after mm -hmm. we, you know, do the whole death thing here. Yeah, and this is why we actually entered the center before the whole little last segment. We could, when we die, we would just spawn right here. You're having Rock Smash. Rock Smash actually is in a HM in this game. Streamer died. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go get another rare candy You're here. You're gonna grab this rare candy right here. I would bet most casual players just never got. Just Pretty straight. tricky rare candy to find. You just gotta. Yeah. I kinda just gotta send it sometimes and just hope you stop close enough on it. Line up here to get the dowsing machine, which some of the smarter casual players would have used to find that rare candy. Great emote, Tucker. Yeah, that movement there is actually very scary on the skates. Yeah, it, it's kind of one of those things that if I just, honestly. if I, if I bonk into the, uh, the land there. I will just get off the state skates because yeah, the momentum is really weird. Up. Yeah, we're gonna get the bike here. The green bike, obviously. The green bike. Green for go. Grab the orange berry. Yeah, gonna grab the orange berry. This is the uh, reason we picked up the orange berry earlier. And I'm just gonna register the bike as well. We'll be getting on that a lot. I'm gonna talk to this lady. Grab a dozen. Soda Pops, it's very convenient just to grab healing items, don't really have to go shop for any more. That will definitely last us until we buy some more later. 
Uh, grabbing that XP, that'll help us for some stuff later. And some friendship stuff. Now we get Definitely to do the to save at thing. some point. We get to do the thing where we encounter a lucha. Yeah. So this is another part of the game. Uh, one of the bigger reset points, if not the this is the reset point of the run. Uh, Halucha is 20% to find one. Not only do we have to find Halucha, it has to, you know, we have to attack it, and then as well as it has to get in the electric ball. So. Definitely one of the moments where we need Bless. That is a Halucha. That is a Halucha. Indeed. Couldn't get in the Pokeball. Level 19, which is fine. Alright, Josh. Not activate the barrier, the orange wow. That's actually a fine crit, honestly. That's gonna help a little bit. Very likely to get in. It's more yeah. than 50% to get in here. Okay. Fine. No, this should take the another karate shot. Yeah, to be exactly. Honest. So we have the orange there. It's gonna pop. That's gonna give us another chance. Okay, so hopefully, this just doesn't even break out, but if it does break out, it should give us another chance to throw another ball. Dude, just get in. Stop being silly. Alright. Alright, yeah. nice. I'll take it. Crazy. It's such a little faith that we get in. Just stop being silly, <laughs> that's it. We deserve that. After the bundle, after the start we got, can anybody disagree that we deserve that? <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we're gonna do some stuff right away. Uh, got a menu. I uh, focus even... into this menu. Uh, the pack is pretty horrible. Yep, 42 attack is minus attack. Yeah, so it's not great, but talk about that a little bit. Yeah, gonna candy, teach swords dance, obviously. Teach rock smash or no, we're at the level the one we don't teach rock smash. Uh why am I you just okay. swap it? We'll just get it after. Okay, <laughs> that yeah that's that makes sense actually. Yeah, so when you catch out Lucha, it can either be uh level nineteen or level twenty. Yeah, the calm nature. I think it was uh, bold, actually. Or yeah, it's minus attack plus defense. Yeah, bold. Very bulky. Uh, 42, at 42 attack, 55 speed. I think 57 speed, actually. 55 at 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 55 at 20, yeah. And it was the same thing with the attack thing, my bad. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll go grab it. Yeah, we're just getting our stats off the uh, the screens we saw before. We we're teaching TMs um, as close to accurate as possible so that we can, you know, figure out what we're. Doing for some of the fights later on. Uh, save. We'll do that. Grand is definitely a fight where, uh... It's also 44 attack, my bad. 44... Good attack, at least. 7. Yeah, 57. 41 defense. 37 special defense. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So even though we are minus attack, it's actually fun. So this uh, Halucha's could be worse, all things considered. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, Quackland's always faster than uh, Silly Avoid. Than Amora, so we will always get a Leer off so that we can guarantee the kill with yep. with Halucha. 
Because we caught a level 19 one, we still have Karate Chop, we didn't learn over it. So if we had a level 20 one, we would have instead taught Rock Smash to use as our fighting move for this gym. Which does a little bit less damage, but because we're a higher level, it generally ends up evening out. Should be able to Sword Stance times 2 here because of the high IV. Yeah, so the two Rock Tombs drops our speed by two stages, so we're now slower. So we're forced to heal here, and now we're going to have to... Hopefully, not get flinched like that, and then get karate chop and we win. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and do the, the one massage I'm getting. I'm going to do that a bit later, just so we have a higher chance of getting the lucky egg. Just for yeah, yeah. consistency. So, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a safer strat, but it definitely brings in some consistency. And that's just when, like, after Prina... Uh, right after Rainbow's. Right after Rainbow's, okay. So the last place you can. Yeah, also saves you the swap that you would have to do to get the massage right now, I guess. And the reason, yeah, it does save the swap actually, too. Um, the reason why that's so good is because, um... The massage is like a static amount of friendship, you always get the same amount of friendship from... Um... A specific massage, that, no matter what, um like friendship you're currently at. So the later you do it, the more it helps you. Just all things considered. So you get more from like you get more friendship from like things like walking or using vitamins or sweethearts or or whatever. Like beating trainers, yeah. leveling up. Um so yeah, it helps a lot. So we're just gonna fight this little masquerade optional here. I have click wing attack. And I have crit. Unreal. <laughs> Kidding me. Uh, you could go down, maybe, I guess, fight the chick that has a duck. Oh my god. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, wing attack never kills there. <laughs> so you have to crit. Yeah, so we're supposed to die in that fight, but... Mingle? Yeah, that's not bad. It's not good. Extra experience, haha. Yeah, it didn't end up being that bad. Yeah, not that bad. Unfortunate. Uh, the reason that happened, I mean, it's very understandable that it happens because... Like, like we said earlier, there is the difference between when you get a level 19 and level 20 Halucha. With the level 20 Halucha, you would actually teach Swords Dance in slot 2. Yes. Um, and with the not level 19, you actually teach Swords Dance in slot 3. So, I mean, yeah, that's... Probably where Headbop's head was. Yes, that's what, that is just, correct. It's just unfortunate. And also, you use Lucario for almost all the run, and for Lucario, it is yeah, also exactly. a slot two. So it's very easy to just click slot two for And the reason that is is because, you know, Wing Attack is in slot two, so you can't really teach over it when you catch level 19, so. Just... Yeah, if you really wanted to switch moves, you could, but like, just too slow for really no reason. Keep trekking onward. We are first battle with Karina. Yeah, so we don't really need to track our stats for Holucha all that much. Pretty much just the Holucha's high enough level so that the, the one level should give us accurate enough stats yeah. to the point where we really need them. Um, I mean, you can track it down a little bit precise if you wanted to for like a couple ranges, defensive ranges on you, but. Yeah. Speed type with Lucario. You, yeah, generally you know your attack is good enough or not. The range, yes. Oh, it's guaranteed here, actually. Yeah. So, cool thing about Karate Chop is at plus four, it's usually always guaranteed to kill both Lucarios. Whereas, if you're the level 20 and you have bad attack with Rock Smash, sometimes it's a range of plus four. Yeah, you might get fling early. You are. Right? Uh, no, I'm gonna miss it. I would like to. That'd be great. But I think I'm going to miss it.
Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna, as, as Truly just mentioned, we're gonna end up teaching Fling at this next level. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we are going to equip the Jaw Fossil, which we got from the scientist in a glittering cave. Yeah, it's just really convenient that he gives us a Jaw Fossil and then we get Fling with Halucha. This works out pretty cool. Uh... Yeah, so Jaw Fossil is a 100 power Fling, which is just really powerful, especially for some of the things that we really need them for. I mean, I guess all we really need yeah, fling for Yeah, 100 power plus, it. you know, being, using Swords Dance. All we really need fling it for is the Chimeco in the Squaring yeah. Cave, but you really can't win the fight without it, so... Exactly. Fortunately, that hit means we are going to have to heal before this next fight. Don't technically have to, you can heal in the fight, but yeah, definitely. Nice execution. This that uh, that part can be kind of weird because there's that uh, optional trainer, she's walking around, and sometimes yeah. the cycle can be weird and. To react. And the way Head Bob is talking to these trainers is actually very specific. Uh, it's not like uh, Oras, where you can just like go to the tile direct, like directly under, like to like the, the the direct tile that's diagonal to them, and just press A and talk to them. You actually have to be walking into the tile that's diagonal from them, and that allow you to talk to them in this game. Well, it didn't really make sense when I explained that. But... Yeah, you just want to talk to trainers diagonally. Um, yeah, if you can. exactly. Just and if you do it perfectly, it just saves you a step as well. Yeah. It saves you steps, and it's worth doing over time. I mean, over time, it adds up if you can do it. I actually have a chance to live a crit here. Heal again for the Trimeco yeah. coming up. They're probably gonna to heal for this save. next fight. Yeah, I definitely want to save. Because there's a couple things that can go wrong. I don't think I die to a crit from Trimeco, but it can also confuse you, which usually is a death anyways. Yeah, exactly. If you get confused on this fight, you're literally just forced to... Just hit through. Yeah, you have to hit through twice, and if you hit yourself on the Trimeco, you literally just die. It's just really unfortunate. I'm not sure. It's earlier than I thought it was. Oh, I didn't save. Okay, well. We're gonna be fine. Rage. Now nah, we're gonna be fine. Yeah. No praging necessary. We're gonna be fine. Sometimes you can do this fight at plus zero. Cool. Easy. Yeah, so chilling on that fight. That fight can just, it's just so annoying that, you know, nothing you can really do in that fight. Even if what you had, like, a full heal or something, you just can't use it because, you know, you it's just gonna just die. keep yeah. confusion over and over on you. It does over half to almost all luches. So it's, like, pretty, you kind of just have to. Like, there's really no other option. All right, Tucker. Also, not only having one Pokemon in our party allows us to skip that double battle right there. Exactly. I think I'm going to try not to use the PP up, just so I have a chance to get seven. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, with only one massage, though, I mean... Yeah. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just use it. You're gonna use the X-Fence as well, so maybe not.
Yeah, so we used to use Sweet Hearts in that menu to heal the full, but instead we're just using Soda Pops right now, and I think most top runners just use Soda Pop there also, just because if you can delay the Sweet Hearts as much as possible, you would like to, just because yeah. it's the same deal as a Massage, they give a static amount of friendship, which means that by doing doing them later as late as you can, you're giving yourself the best chance to get the Lucky Egg. Yeah, and getting the Lucky Egg is really, really important. That's kind of what this whole section's about, like pretty much this exactly. whole Halucha section, just getting the Lucky Egg. I mean, it goes back to getting the Luxury Balls as well. Yeah. It's really important, it's all just out and around making sure you get enough friendship to get the Lucky Egg later. And sometimes even then it's not enough, so... Just because of the way the friendship works in this game. Yeah. The issue, the, the fundamental issue here is that part of the friendship mechanics of this game is you get friendship every, what, 256 steps or something like that, but only 50% of the time. Yeah. So it's just random what, you could get zero friendship from walking over the course of the run, and then you're just, you almost never get it, the Lucky Egg. Yeah. Um, or you could just get a lot, and then you just don't really need all that much help. So, just kind of depends. And there's really no way to tell until you actually can go try to get the Lucky Egg. 128, yeah, it is 128. Yeah, yeah. yeah so every 128 steps, there's just a 50 50 chance of you getting friendship. Yeah. You could just lose, you know, a ton of coin flips and then. I knew when I said it, it didn't sound right, so. <laughs> yeah. I didn't remember off the top either. So we're gonna save for this fight because I have a reputation <laughs> at this point. <laughs> There's a very small chance that you can die on this fight, like very, very small chance. Um, but because we have Encore, we can use it to our advantage and make the fight essentially free almost all the time. Yeah, assuming Caleb doesn't do anything, the, he does the normal stuff, this fight is free just because of the Encore strat we use. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry, for sure. I hate being sorry. What am I looking at? <laughs> yeah, so really, it, it, like the chances of Caleb's Meostic here using... Um, words I refer to them as troll moves. Um, things that like... I guess troll you, just fake out light screen. The chances of him using one of those moves very, very high on turn one specifically. Yep. So that's what we expect to see here. We do. Yeah, I'm gonna use the X speed because we need it. And now we just win the fight. Yeah, we just encore fake out, and now that just allows us just to set up freely. This is a great example of Swords Dance and just how fast it is setting up with it. Yeah. Actually, it's a great example. We're going to plus six, but it's not even slow at all. Yeah. Uh, even though we're minus attack, this prediction should still always die, I think. Sometimes it's a range if your attack is really bad. Absol's also guaranteed. Okay. Yeah, it would be really... It is definitely a saving grace here that we have such good attack, Ivy. It's really, it is really a different story if you are on the lower half. Yep. And also, using that XP doesn't uh, XP abuse on that fight. It helps for the friendship as well. Uh, sometimes you can optionally skip that XP. Uh, but normally, typically, we use it every single time, regardless, just because of the friendship. And it's just basically a free turn to set up, anyways. So it uses fake out. Yeah. 
yeah, moving on to Karina's gym. This execution in this gym is actually kind of awkward because these trainers are all just moving around by themselves. E yeah, easily one of the hardest executions in the game. And you perfectly. have to do it on the skates as well, so it's just... Get really awkward. Very nice. Yeah, so sometimes you can do this part and you literally can just hit all their cycles and get like really, really uh, good. Can't really. I don't know. Get a piece of I sword stance, okay. It literally did the opposite of what I did before. <laughs> okay, that's fine though. Yeah, there we go. X defending here, because he will almost always fake out. So you get the extra friendship boost. You can really do it there, or on the masquerade from before. Either way, pretty much the same. Doing this here gives you a little bit more friendship, but... Pretty insignificant. Like I said, we're going to use our sweethearts. Whenever we can. Yep. Sometimes it makes more sense to use a soda pop if it like heals you better. Yeah. And also, there is sometimes if you wait long enough, there's a chance you don't use all your speed hearts. I've definitely ran into that problem like once or twice before. Yeah. But definitely want to make sure you use all your speed hearts. Yeah. Usually you can because jump luff will almost always acrobatics you and puts you at like very low HP. But sometimes it can really troll you, but that's pretty rare. But yeah, using all your speed hearts essential. Let's see if we hit 28 here. If we don't, we might have to do something a little weird. We don't. Why? Oh, okay. I think I'm at high enough HP to take a takedown, so I will just I'll just sword stance. Okay. Thirty-five to forty-one. Yeah, I'm at like fifty something. It's not even guaranteed to use takedown, so. Yeah. We're fast enough. Yep. Take a sock hit. It's my HP. Is that 16 to 18? Oh yeah, I can take a crit. Yeah, so we're good. Might be better than that, actually. Yeah, it is. 28. Wow, it's so early. What the hell? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Yeah, that's a case of doing the gym too good. You get to that trainer too fast. Low sock. Goodbye. Alright. Now we get to use a 95% accurate move, yeah! Congrats. Yeah, so sometimes when your attack's high enough, you can go for the wing attack there, so you don't even have to hit a flying press, but... Otherwise, you're just forced to hit it. And as we'll see later, there is a lot of 95% uh, need to hit in this run. Yes, for sure. For sure. I haven't even checked the pace of this run, and I don't really want to. Fuck. Um, so yeah. We're just gonna, I mean, this is a fighting gym, so... 
Lily Mianfu is not going to be able to really do much to us. So we're just going to X attack, get our more friendship. We could Sword Stance twice, but we don't really need to. Just going to get our X attack. Flying Press, or not Flying Press, Sword Stance. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes they're, uh, you like have a really bad defense and you don't want, you know, how Lucha to hit you with Flying Press, you can Encore Fake out there on that turn. Yes. Just like, stall out. Or not stall out, but just like, set up for free and then go. Because Holy, Ch Holy Chew will outspeed you here and it's Flying Press will do a decent amount of damage. We shouldn't even die to a crit here though, because our defense is good. But... Yeah, and doing the stall out with Encore strategy in that slow because Texas moves so quick. This is perfect so to pop HP, so I will use that. So we've got our third badge. Um, but we're not done with Karina yet. Karina's going to leave the gym here. And we're going to okay. follow her to where she's going. And take the rail as slow as possible because that is optimal for sure. And bonk it to the guy. Both calculated. And now we're going to go and get our last main of the run. Yeah, we've seen three of the mains already. Crazy. So we're gonna Go up to the top of this tower where Karina is just waiting for us. But on the way there, we're gonna stop in this room here, get a funny little TM called Low Sweep. Just a very strong fighting type move that we're gonna use on our, our last main. The old route would have instead used Power Up Punch. Um, this was like years ago. Um, that already is on the Pokemon that we're talking about here. Um, but low sweep just, there's a lot more ranges that you secure, it's just all, overall much better. Yeah, this cutscene, uh, gonna learn how to Mega Evolve and stuff. Always fun. We got an epic Lucario battling on our side for right now. They both have Lucario Knight. It's gonna be a very, yeah. very good battle. We're gonna try our hardest. I don't know, it was always just so weird to me how, you know, we just fought her, but she doesn't even use her Lucarios. I don't get it. Yeah. Lucario on the gym fight would have made the fight so much more reasonable. Because <laughs> as is, it is a very easy fight, I will say. So we're forced to Mega Evolve here, we don't have a choice. If we don't Mega Evolve, then she will restart the fight and we're forced to just do it again. Also got a Metal Sound because, you know, it's fast. It actually doesn't matter if you win or lose this fight either. As long as you Mega Evolve is all that matters. Never seen the crit there, but it is possible to get crit and just die. One You've hit. never gotten crit? Uh, never. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, power up punch crit just just kills you and saves a turn. So here's our last main, Lucario, as you probably already figured out by now. <laughs> um, always have the same exact stats, always the same exact nature. Really consistent, yeah. really nice for speed runs. Yep. Nature, really good type right? coverage. Really, you know, just good everything. Really. And that's that last, uh, top left, that's the, the last line of IVs that are, that's the set stats for the Lucario. Anybody was wondering? Those are the same people on that guy's left side. What am I bonking into, though?
uh, go to this gate, talk to this guy, you know, get an uh, HM buddy. Not only an HM buddy, but uh, also will help us for a couple fights later. So. Yes, absolutely. Actually pretty important to have this Pokemon. This Lapras right here. I'm pretty sure even if you got Squirtle and used it as a Surf Rock Smash Strength Poke, you still would get Lapras anyways, just because of how important it is for some of the fights to come. Yep. Yeah, big menu here, gotta teach a lot of moves. Gonna give our Lapras all of the HMs and stuff. Not only that, we also gotta teach our Lucario some moves. Even though we're not gonna lose, use our Lucario right now, we are gonna use it later, so it is just faster to teach all our moves to, that we're gonna use on it right now. Yep. Yeah! That's what you call the, the thing. And now we're here. The menu. Yeah. yeah, sometimes, I don't know, it's really weird in this game. I swear sometimes whenever you're just mashing in this bag, you can just close out of it. Yeah, that is a real Randomly. thing. It's, it's very, very weird. And I'm holding B and mashing A, so even... People say it happens when they're mashing B. I've gotten it even when mashing A. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Lapras. Lapras shows up in the overworld while you're surfing, like other right. surfers. You hop in on the back right here. This is actually really cool. Um, hop in on the back of this and... Very nice. And going through that actually allows us to skip two mandatory trainers that otherwise we wouldn't be able to skip. I don't really know why they allowed that, to be honest. Yeah, in the back of the skiddo. Yeah. <laughs> this. Yeah, it's pretty cool if you, it's just, I don't know. We are not complaining. Uh. Could potentially save the next fight, I guess. Yeah, same, pretty much the same deal as the other one. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy. We used Encore again in the exact same way we used it on the last fight, uh, the last Kalen fight that is. But there is that, uh, you know, strange, weird, low percent chance of Kalen going for Psybeam, or is it Psybeam on this fight too? Yeah, Sybeam or Dishonored yeah. Voice, both both the same in this case. Yeah, and pretty much if he goes for it, like, he'll just keep using it over and over again, more than likely. Yep. Um, so the difference between this fight and the last fight is we're not X-speeding, we're instead X-attacking. And as a result, we expect to outspeed um, the Meowstic here, and this is where picking the girl comes into play, because this Meowstic is a minus speed nature. So a lot more Hulluches will outspeed it. Almost all Hulluches will outspeed this Meowstic. Whereas if we pick the boy, then around half, I think, would. So it's just a lot safer, just in case you have like really, really bad speed. Fake out again, nice. Yep. Let me just Encore, and now we can set up. Yeah, I don't really know how it works, Ekman. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, so this fight, you know, just, just, just as easy. We gotta hit some 95% accurate moves, but... Even if we miss him, it's not... It's not that dangerous to miss, especially in Absol.
So this next Simi Sage is going to be a range to kill with Flying Press. Uh, it's 6 and 16 here, so don't expect to get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Not threatening if we miss it, but just, you know, slow. Yeah. Has, like, moves like Lick, which is kind of really annoying if you get paralyzed. Although we could be Limber. Could be Limber, we don't know yet. So, so yeah, Haluch is either Limber or Unburden. Limber yeah. just, you can't get paralyzed. Exactly. Unburden would have helped if we had the Berry still for Grand. the Rock Gym earlier. We would have been able to skip that heal turn. I mean, probably no one probably remembers, but would have saved a couple turns. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, now, ideally, I mean, we have Limber. Limber would be better to have now, so hopefully yes. we do have Limber. And that'll help for uh, these fights coming up. What do I want to... puzzle here, oh. just nothing crazy. My mind was really telling me to go right there, like, very strongly. Very clean diagonal. That Looks diagonal saves a very little amount of time. <laughs> Minimal. But I mean, hey, it's faster. Uh, yeah, this was Zillia as Poison Point, which we did not get. Very nice. Actually, I mean, getting Poison Point there, if we don't have Limber, is actually fine. It is definitely safer, for sure. Yeah. But... Obviously, we lost fast. Good deal. Good. Bounce and quick guard here. On the same level. Also, worth noting, that's why we have the experience share on. So that Lucario can get some extra levels. Um... It gets some better ranges in Power Plant, so it's yeah. just it doesn't lose all that much time either. So it's just not that big of a deal. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna come on the, come up on this gloom fight. We have to set up Swords Dance. Um, are we guaranteed to kill? Seems like we are. Yeah. Yeah, the gloom usually, I mean, it usually goes for Sun Spore, but it can go for other moves as well. Like yeah, Sunspore, Mega Drain, Lucky Chant, pretty much any of those. Sunspore yeah, Miss, we'll never know good. if we have Limber. Yeah, we'll never know. Uh, that's, that's, so, that's actually really good too, because now we don't have to heal for the next fight either. No need to heal, I might want to save, I don't yeah, know if I want to. Yeah, maybe you could win with Lucario, I guess. Yeah. I think I won't save with Lucario. Yeah. Or you could just... I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let me look. The one downside, because you can win with Lucario and it's not that slow, it's definitely faster than saving and resetting. Um, but you decrease your chance of getting the Lucky Egg by... Yeah. A notable margin. Not level up? No, I'll, just, I'll just save. That might as well. Because I'm already kind of struggling to get the Lucky Egg here, so I think it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, have you used all your sweethearts? No. Yeah. So really, kind of, kind of banking on getting acrobatics here and, and living it, so I can heal it off. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of silly. I think we saved. You always give that jump up a chance to kill you. Just have to set up on that turn. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my PB actually got crit and lived, which is crazy to me. Uh, yeah, that is possible with really, really high defense and full HP, which full HP is already like rare a lot. Yeah. Healer, I guess. 
Yeah, that's how it should go. I think it's still miss flying press too. Exactly, because now we have to hit a flying press uh, on this go go if we miss it. No. Could miss takedown. <laughs> yeah, That'd <could>. be hype. <laughs> That's how the fight should go. Yep. <laughs> Run has not been the luckiest, I will say. Yeah, it was just a really unfortunate start. Barely missed the level there, which you don't expect to get that level anyways, yeah. but... Because we got so much extra experience from the... the masquerade. So we're gonna... gonna restore here. Use the sweethearts. Teach fly. So that we can fly and get the massage right now. Yep. That's why we delay the massage a little bit. Uh, makes it a lot more likely to. It makes it a lot safer, more likely to get it when you do it later like this. Mostly because you have the soothe bell, whereas before you wouldn't. But on top of that, there's also the uh, the static friendship thing that I mentioned before. Yeah, a little, a little bit more, more friendly. Got the worst massage, but I mean, whatever. Now we're gonna shop, so we get a little bit more extra steps before we get the Lucky Egg. You could do this after the Lucky Egg too, but it really doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, shopping for the Lucky Egg just gives you, you know, just a few more steps, allows you to squeeze in just a little bit more. Do some shopping. Yeah. That is everything we'll need for the rest of the run, right there. Yep. I guess technically... Get to four stars later, but that's just given to us. I meant the proteins. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, we'll actually be skipping those. <laughs> <No. Man>. <laughs> <laughs> Even still, just insane. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, I didn't get the lucky egg, obviously. Very, very unfortunate. I did everything I could. I got the X defense. Yeah, literally did everything we possibly could. Use every extra item we could at this point. Now we just have to stall a little bit here and just try to get more steps. Look that. I did use PB up, right? I think I ended up deciding to use it. You did use it, yeah. So yeah, I mean, now we just have to go back around and then, you know, again, depend on that that friendship for one and every, what, or that 50-50 every 128 steps. Yep. That's all we're hoping for here. This is unlike any X run I've ever had, by the way. It's like this whole, <laughs> yeah, this whole I mean, thing. Yeah, very, very, very unfortunate. You're just, you're just literally forced to do this, though. Lucky Egg is just way, way too it's important. It's too important, yeah.
Yeah, literally marathon luck. It's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's definitely worth to uh, do it the way Head Bob did there for sure. Um, just a lucky egg. Just everything it gets us, and it's it's just really good. Yeah, as painful as that was, that's definitely better. Yeah, the, exactly. Like the that, power that wasn't, that wasn't fun, but I, I mean, ideally, ideally, you just get lucky at first try there, right? And we don't really have to worry about you yeah. know, taking all the extra steps and stuff like that. So the thing about this is the power plant's coming up right now. The power plant is a section where you fight a lot of team flare grunts and you get a lot of experience. So it's really the part of the run where you start to get over leveled and you start to like, yeah, actually like get like a main going. So it's like very important to have the. Ex Lucky egg for that section. Yeah, you lose like three levels. Yeah, exactly. The thing with having our Lucario and with the Lucky Egg now, it, it's gonna get really over leveled really fast. So it just, it just, yeah, Lucario literally just takes over. Yeah, wind here, which is unfortunate, but it makes sense. Makes the movement here a bit harder. We get it. Yeah, if you didn't have wind here, you you do this whole thing on the bike, and it's a lot faster. Yeah. Even if you do this with wind perfectly, it still loses a bit of time. Yeah. But now we have revives and, you know, and stuff, so we're not really too worried about uh, dying and stuff like that. It's just... So the thing about this run is like the Lucario section is honestly far from free. There's just so many things that can go wrong in the Lucario section. Just not not things that are really threatening, but like just so many little things can go wrong and there's you milk a ton of your time away. So like Mr. Rock Tomb here, Mr. Rock Tomb there. You know? Yeah. Thankfully, they boot, they buffed Rock Tomb in this generation, so that's actually yeah. like <laughs> usable, really. Yeah. Um, so it's only one it's of the best things in the good. game right here. Subjective, of course, but it's a very good, very good theme. Um, yeah, Rock Tomb. 95% accurate, actually usable, actually can rely on it, unlike its 80% yeah. counterpart. Sure. We also have Bone Rush for the time being, which is only 90% accurate, but we don't really have a choice but to kind of rely on it for some of these fights. We don't have to use it too much. Well. Most of the things we use Bone Rush on, we don't expect too many hits. Yeah. Um, but some of them, like the Swalots we're gonna fight later and the Ampharos later in Clement's gym, we would like to get as many hits as we can. Exactly. And it would just save a turn or two. Yep. I mean, potentially more than that, if, you know. You have to heal or something afterwards. And... Yeah. This Krogan gun can be kind of troll. It's still less dangerous than the Golbat yeah. afterwards. Um, we're gonna have to rely on it. Ideally, we get like Sucker Punch here. We set up. Instead, I get Mud Bomb, which is okay since we didn't get accuracy drops. That's ideal. Also, as Swagger. It could drop accuracy with Mud Bomb also, like we were mentioned. Has Revenge, which does a lot of damage. Yeah, this next fight is a Mighty Inna, actually. It's actually really silly, because it's just a 12 and 16 range, and there's just really nothing you can do about it. Does well, the issue with that range... Does it kill you? It doesn't kill you. The issue, the issue with it is it has Roar. So if you miss yeah. it, you can get really trolled. Mm -hmm. 
the way experience works in this game, it, it actually ends up being okay if you get Roar. Yeah. It's just slow, obviously. But, uh, you know. We just get the range, don't have to worry about that. Try. Let me get the range. Thank you, Iron. Gonna be at here after this run, too, for Fortunate's Alpha Sapphire run. Pretty hype. Right. Very excited. Hopefully, yeah, there's fights coming up. It's actually really important you don't set up on these Scraggies because I think they have high jump. What do they have? Do they have high yeah, jump? Yeah, it is high jump kick. Yep. Yeah, and they literally just one shot you. So. Yep. So on average, you take less damage, but if you get high jump kick, you just you just die always. So, it's just not really worth it. All these gold bites have confused Ray, so that's yeah. kind of what we're scared of. Yeah. That's, Here. That goes back to the part where you know, not really threatening to die. You're just you can lose a lot of time if you get you know lucky, get a bunch of confused rays. And... Yeah. But you're safe if you do die because you have a revive. Unlike if you would have died before, yeah. would have been a white. Really loses a lot of time. But yeah, to be honest, this part of the game is kind of not that interesting. This this flare grind and the other flare grinds, um, definitely more interesting in the early game, and then also the late game. The E4 fight's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. But I mean, the fact that like you're getting so much experience here and just building a through Cario is like super important. So. Yeah. For sure. Cario just gets OP so fast. Yeah. Yeah, Lucario just has, like, the type coverage Lucario has, like, fighting type is, like, a great type for this game. Like, there's a lot of, like, dark yeah. type since you it's player, there's a lot crazy. of, like, yeah. How good Lucario counters the game. Yeah. It's just, like, it just gave you a poke for free, that just, like, is a great counter for the rest of the game. And just always exactly. the same stats, it's kind of a no-brainer, to be honest. Get a crit there. Actually, not this. Nice. You would normally need to five turn that if you didn't crit there. Yeah. Because we crit once we. Yeah, definitely understandable, bro. There is some variance on this split though, so it's not you know too. I don't know. I always. I always enjoyed getting to the. The cardio section. It's a great like, milestone in the run. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Getting the Lucario section, you're definitely very happy about that. Just getting to play the game more. I don't know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No fake out there, very nice. Yeah, exactly. Getting fake out on Lucario loses a big amount of time because it also procs Lucario's ability, which increases its speed. Hold steadfast. Another swallow, out, which is random here with the bone rush. Should be able to. Uh, uh, yeah. I think it's safe to heal here. And rock yeah. team this. Go for rock team there because better accuracy than the bone rush. If I had full restores there, I would have used one, but we don't actually have any full restores yet. We're both to get them after this section. So instead, oh, I'll just, just heal now, I'll just yeah. heal out of battle just with my with my actual like healing items. <laughs> yeah, so now that we're full HP, we don't really not really stressing anything now. Honestly, a couple more battles left in the power plant here. Yeah. Yeah, there is just a bunch of random fights on Lucario where you just get crit, you just lose. It's kind of like that for this section, it's just like, 
it's very uninteresting until like something bad happens. So, like some <laughs> bad things can happen. You just lose time, but it's still not interesting. <laughs> it's like a lose lose. Another chance to get fake out here. Didn't. So yeah, we heal there just so we can get out of. I mean, obviously, missing on Bone Rush and Krogunk would have not been good and has Sucker Punch and Fake Out or whatever. But if you're below around 20 ish, which I was there, uh, on the admin fight coming up, I would have gotten an assurance very likely, um, which does around 20. But instead, since we healed, we're going to get Scary Face. Hopefully, we get Scary Face. You can also get Swagger or Roar, both of which are like super cringe. Yeah. So hopefully it doesn't happen. Yeah. Luckily we love sweep it, drop it speed, and then it's scary face it doesn't move so faster, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And scary face obviously is really fast. Uh, for the same reason, you know, sword stance. Fast. Yeah, going into left tile here saves very little amount of time. But Definitely worth only, doing. Only recently discovered by Ekman Larson in the chat. Yeah, it just makes the admin guy walk less tiles and... I was so ready to just like mess up that movement and just have it be slower. It's just, it's just <laughs> faster for us to run tiles than to let him walk tiles is pretty much the thought process behind it. Yeah, the difference is there that the girl, like that, that female admin there, um, always walks to the middle no matter where you are. So you're not actually saving any time or losing any time by going to the left there. Are you Are you kidding me? Yeah. That is the first time we've ever gotten that. Yeah, but yeah, the way XP works though, you can just like rock smash and fire. Uh, sure. But it's, really nice. it's just slow, but like. I've never gotten Roar turn two there. Turn one. Mario's still gonna get the full amount of experience that he would have anyway, so. Doesn't matter too much. The difference is now though. Oh no, it's not. It's not actually. Uh. Yeah, Lapras almost would have gotten Ice Beam. Like, very close. Yeah, we're gonna get two forward swords from these... Um, ...people. Only two we get in the whole run. Actually, really important that we have one. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, at least one is, like... At least one cool. is, like, needed, just in case. There's, like, two major fights. There's a couple fights, actually. Like, three fights, probably, where... Having a full restore specifically is very useful. Uh, one is the Ampharos that's coming up here. Um, and the two are much later in the game. The other two. So we'll talk about those later, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, and then we're coming out of here and there's... You can see there's no wind now. It's just so much faster. Yeah. Although if we had wind there, it would have been better than it would yeah, have been. Yeah, because it's blowing at your back. So it's it's like blowing in a different, the other direction, yeah. so yeah. Regardless. Yeah, cool to see the differences. Yeah, basically how that works is like it cycles every um I think ten minutes or so it cycles. Um between wind and no wind. And just depends on what your in-game clock is. You can consistently get no wind if you're on like a like if you go for like specific Halucha times, you can get a pretty consistent setup for no wind. Now we're going into Klamath's gym, where we gotta hit a bunch of bone rushes. Yeah, this gym can this gym can go very easily if you just get good bone rush RNG, but sometimes it can, it can get very bad bone rush RNG and things just go not great for you. I mean, all you really need is you need to get three hits on mm -hmm. the Dene and Raichu, and then Ampharos, you can kill it with five, but you don't ever expect to, really. Um, but you want to at least be getting three. Three on Dene, Raichu, and Ampharos, all really good. 
and it happens, I think, like, maybe like 60-something percent of the time. So, we're in the Eiffel Tower. We're in the gym in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's called, uh, something else. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. But, um, obviously this reason really is meant to replicate France, and this is just, Lumios is just the equivalent of Paris. Um, but we're here to fight the electric gym, if you couldn't already tell. Prism Tower. Prism Tower, there you go. To me. I like the Dene. Dene is a cool Pokemon. Unfortunately, it is oh, horrible oh, that's a crit. in this game. At least in Sword and Shield, it was one of the better Pokemon to use because it gets access to Dazzling Gleam. It doesn't even get access to Dazzling Gleam in this game, not even by TM. Just a really, really bad Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Got you. And we got Raichu coming up. Horrible yeah, Pokemon. Get, One yeah, of the I worst. Just want to get three hits on this. Hopefully. Obviously, like getting the three hits, you know, not only, I mean, just, um, they're not essential, but it's just like it really, really yeah. helps. Yeah, and giving yourself a chance to miss and stuff. Yeah. You get the three hit, fortunately, very good. Yeah, because like I said, Bone Rush is 90% accurate, so missing is like really, really bad, like definitely worse than two turning. So you want to be hitting at least some of them. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely is okay to miss a couple times, but... Yeah, this Ampros coming up is one of the more annoying fights, sure it can be. Ideally, we just get the 5 hit and move on with our day. That would be ideal, huh? Yep. Because if you don't kill this, it usually uses Confuse Ray. Um, it can use Thunder Punch right away, but I think it's not favored too. The full heal for sure here. Yeah, when we go for the full heal here, it's going to go for Thunder Punch, and that gives it a chance to pair us, but it did not, thankfully. Get the hit, we just need three. You get three. Okay. Alright, nice. So we're in a great position here. Yeah, definitely take that. Usually in PV attempts, and I probably would have gone for it too, maybe in the races, or in this run. If I get three or more, I usually just don't go for the heal and confusion. Um, just because all you need to do then is just hit, and then you don't need to worry about how many hits do you get. Yeah. But it is way safer to heal them, and that's why you. That's also to... one of the last bone rushes we hit of the run, right? Yeah. Uh, you hit one more. Yep. Oh it. yeah, true. Yeah. And the last one actually is fatal to miss. So. And it's funny because all those fights we hit bone rush, and then this last fight is just the easiest it's fight. So unbelievably easy. Like it keeps building up. Like it's harder and harder and harder, and then we just have the easiest by a long shot. The game even knew, they gave this thing zero IVs, like the IVs kept getting higher too. Except for this one. We get Aura Sphere here, very, 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 very good move. Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the only special, special type, uh, special fighting moves in all of Pokemon. Um, and that gives us access to some really, 
really good ranges and stuff on some physically defensive Pokemon. This and it can also not miss. Which I don't think that's actually relevant anywhere, but But yeah, Low Sweep served us really well in the Flare section. Um, Power Up Punch would have really struggled to kill some things. For sure. Alright, so we're gonna Swords Dance on this Emolga here. Um, it has Static, but it doesn't matter because we can Rock Tomb it, it doesn't make contact. Um, but despite that, it's gonna, it's gonna just Bolt Switch almost all the time. So we usually kill it last anyways. I don't think anyone's ever gotten Aerial Ace in a run, but it is possible. Right. So yeah, you cannot miss this Bone Rush or else you die. You didn't miss. That's good. Dirty skip though. Yeah, Bone Rush really useful there. One of the only places where it's more useful to have than like a move like Bulldozer Dig, dig. Um, because you don't have to break sturdy. You can just kill it. Nice. Level 43, getting up there. Yeah, so we're already like six levels ahead of the ace. Like you saw there, the ace there was 37. So we're already like decently over leveled. Although the, the level curve does jump up very suddenly, I will say, for Valerie. There's only one mandatory fight in between Clement and Valerie, and the levels jump up by five. XY loves to do that. <laughs> so now we're going to make over... Make our way over to this very inconspicuous cafe. Right. Talk to Sycamore. Talk to our trusty professor and then the guy we talked to before. We don't really know who he is yet. He has some really cool hair though. Who sure does? Coming up this next fight, uh, next Caitlyn fight, we're actually going to set up an X attack and hope the Meow Stick will go for, what is it, Fake Out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a chance that, I think, I don't, I think it's just random, it goes for Light Screen or Fake Out. Um, yeah, he does seem like a nice guy, definitely. Yeah, we're going to go to the next route here, as directed by our, our friend here. Yep. Why? Why does this device even exist? I feel like this is like. <laughs> it's to tell us where to go. That's literally it. But like, how how would this even exist? He's like, talk to your friends through a hologram. Be crazy it's in the real like, world. Like the future. Yeah, it's the future. Yeah, I got a menu. This is the it. future. We're gonna menu here. Uh... Yeah, true. Actually, it's very hospitable. Didn't consider that. Uh, we said uh, we gotta heal up. We gotta repel here. We're also teach Shadow Fall over Bone Rush. We don't need that anymore. Thank God. We didn't miss Bone Rush at all, which is really nice. Yeah. And throw on the left because I'm an idiot. Actually, it doesn't lose that much time, if any. Yeah, I don't think it does, because it fades to black there, yeah. But yeah, um... <laughs> it might be 50-50 to see Fake Out or Light Screen, we don't yeah, actually really know. Yeah, I really don't know. Um, but either way, Fake Out's definitely better to see here, because it makes, um, Absol a very unlikely range to kill if you get Light Screen. Yeah, otherwise it's, it's guaranteed if you just get Fake Out, so... Your last X attack that we used, literally all yeah, of them came in 
Andy, yeah, and just get pink out. Really, it's crazy because you get three X attacks from the literally right after the first gym and use all three of them. They're all useful. Pretty yeah, so if you recall the fights earlier with Halucha, we were just always setting up to like a very high amount of setup. And here we're now just yeah. setting up to plus one and just going just because of how high level we are. You have great coverage at this point in the game, also. Speaking of great coverage, what we don't have is coverage for fairy types, which is coming up next. Yep. But fortunately, it doesn't matter, because... Valerie's lead Pokémon is... Like, I don't know what they were thinking with, with the Mawile. It's just, like, so helpless. Absolutely yeah. just does nothing. Indeed. Yeah, gonna grab a rare candy here, and also gonna do a bit of movement. Yeah, definitely. Gonna hit some optional fights. Content. Hopefully not that. I've never, been that, I've never been that early in the cycle before, ever. Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> different. Yeah. That movement's very tight, so yeah. Very nice to get past that movement. Definitely, you know, some of the harder part, harder execution in the run. His range is pretty small, that guy, that ranger. Um, mm -hmm. There's only a couple places it, where you can see you. I think the only real way he can see you, if you're not hugging the wall, is whenever he's, like, directly walking right. Like, because he, like, walks right, then down, and then right again. And when he walks right, I think that's like his main point where he can see you. So you were pretty safe everywhere there. Yeah. It's definitely uh, a lot looser than you would think it is. Yeah. Him walking around. Absolutely. Yeah, so we just got told a scary story and they charged us for <laughs> no reason. Kind of haunted house just charges. Uh, I, I guess I guess some haunted houses would do that, but you know, we're in yeah. France, so all the tourists pay. Ow, that bonk hurt. That did. Um. So we're in. Where am I going? We're going here. I was just second guess myself for a second. Yeah, so all those spinners, all the trainer career spinners. I mean, yeah, these are all these are all spinners here. Uh, they spin pretty fast in this game, so if you tr if you try to rush them, they definitely can uh, bite you and get you. It's so early. Yeah, they're gonna drop the repel there. Uh, that matters. Definitely nice to be past those spinners. Definitely I mean, passing uh, spinners in this game is it is free. You, you just wait for them and they you can pass them. But sometimes you can be a little bit impatient and yeah, and just try to rush it. You just get yeah. greedy on one of them, try to rush it. They'll definitely get you. They can definitely get you for sure. Yeah. So this Mawile actually doesn't even have a fairy move. It doesn't. It has two dark type moves. And Iron Defense. That's his move set. We crit. Um, hmm. Uh, Is this gonna put into heal range? The Sylveon? I'm not sure, but you have to. I think it might. I'm just probably gonna rock team turn one. Yeah. Not just kill you. No, I live it. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't matter then. Eh, but if it heals, it's fine, I guess. I 
guess we should rock it, maybe. Yeah, that was just a very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we crit uh, the ball while there. Definitely unfortunate. I've never seen that actually. It's, it, it works a lot better at plus two to crit that. It's a bit more awkward at plus four. Yeah, it definitely was a very unfortunate crit there. But yeah, it definitely is better to do that than to sword stance because if you sword stance on S Sylveon and then miss the range, then you just die anyways. It's a 15 to 16 range at plus 6. Mm -hmm. But you, even if you miss that range, you generally don't die. Because yeah. Mawile does so little. We're gonna go talk to Shauna. Do some stuff. Welcome back to the good theme. Okay. I think I just hear the flare stuff too much. Like it, you just you hear it a lot. Yeah, but like the player battle theme, it's definitely understandable. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. So now Team Flare is, you know, back at it again, trying to control the supply of Pokeballs, I think. <laughs> For I don't know why, but you know, they just are. So go go them, I guess. But we we don't like that, so we're gonna stop them. We should have enough HP so that we don't have to heal before the next fight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um, but again, even if we die, it's like not the end of the world. We have we have revives, plenty of them. Hopefully, we hopefully don't we don't need to use all three of the revives. But yeah, the tricky movement there. It's like tile perfect. You go one extra tile left there. You just hit an optional trainer. We got an admin battle, and then we're gonna have another true double battle, which everybody loves. Yep. Very reliable. Consistent. Yep. What's your HP? 42. Ellen. The answer to the universe, the life, and everything. Yeah, um... So our Neostick will usually use Light Screen turn 1. Um, there's a decent chance that Manetric will go for Bite on it, which is not good because we don't want our Meowstic to flinch. We want it to be able to use Psychic at some point. Or else we have to do all the work ourselves. But if the Manetric does decide to attack us, we do tank a hit from it. Does bite, it does flinch. So yeah, now that it has been flinched, it will try to use light screen again. <laughs> okay, we're not. Oh. That was very <laughs> I used Odor Sleuth and Psychic in the same turn. Like what? So much weird stuff this run. Can't predict Caleb. He never he can never let him uh can never do the same thing twice. Yeah. Never let us know his next move. Yeah.
All right, now we're gonna go buy some proteins. Um, they're gonna come in handy later. We actually use them at a very specific level. Uh, which is nice. Or don't we? Is it, what is the reason we don't use them earlier? I don't really remember. Okay, yeah, I can explain that. Um, so for Olympia, the psychic typing leader, um, we are using a sword stance to set up, and its lead and her lead Sigalif. Uh, has both reflect and light screen and the way it chooses whether to use reflect or light screen is whether your attack or special attack stat at that point is higher and so by not using the proteins earlier on we make it so that our special attack is higher than our attack and get light screen most of the time so it's it's very convenient that we can we can kind of manipulate that like that most mains can't do that because usually it's just like favored one stat or another yeah. So we're gonna go get our proteins here. Yep. I have lots of protein. And it's funny because um, we use six, and like, that's the exact amount of money we have for for six. Yeah, six is like, yeah, the most useful amount you can buy. So it's just like perfect. It's just always perfect in this run. It's like, yeah, just... when are you gonna menu? It scared me. No, I'm just gonna it get make, an encounter. It makes sense to wait though. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Movement's not too tricky in this game, but there is some parts that can, you know, be a little bit tricky, I guess. I don't know. I was having a bit of trouble with Frost Cavern earlier, so hopefully I don't mess that up. Yeah, I guess Frost Cavern's definitely one of the places where be tricky. We'll go up to Frost Cavern. Very snowy here. Not sure where in France it would be at like this, but you know, Pokemon just uses imagination sometimes. It is very pretty though. A lot of the graphics in this game. Yeah, I, I really, really like the graphics in this game. For the first game being launched on the 3DS, I think it definitely sure. looks pretty okay. Yeah, and that optional trainer there can be a little scary, but if you if you enter the door in the exact tile... Uh, oh, you're right, Jordan. The, <laughs> stupid. Or this right tile, uh, that door, and just hold upright, it just allows you to pass the optional trainer very easily. <laughs> yep, that movie, that movement right there can also be a little tricky on that hiker, but and Bob nailed it. Very nice. Forgot the Alps went into France. <laughs> Hello, Silly Andy. Me. This part's a little cool too, you just hold up and it just works out perfectly where you just pass that walker. Yeah, it looks very scary at first glance. I guess you gonna save for Houndoom or are you gonna sort of revive? Nah, no way. The range. Yeah, this next fight, this fight right here, it's actually uh, it can be different depending on what the Golbat uses on turn one. Sometimes you'll go to plus two and just uh, go, but sometimes you'll uh, you don't get hit by acrobatics on this first turn, and you can just set up the plus four. He did acrobatics, so he has to go here. Pretty unfortunate. Um, now we have to go for a four and sixteen range with Shadow Claw and risk static at the same time. Yeah. So it's not. The greatest. Okay. Okay, so we are good. Still just have to... I mean, I'm in kind of the same position I would have been anyways. If I had just... Yeah, I mean, you pretty much die to the next fight anyways if you miss the range. The 7 and 8 or 14 and 16 range. 
Um, yeah. Just. Yeah. Nothing you can really do about it. You just have to you hit it. There's a bunch of these little ranges just scattered out throughout this run that you're just forced to hit. So. Real life sometimes. Big jump in level there. Hound is actually higher level than us at this point. One of the rare things. Easy. Nice crit. And another funny thing about that is, if you recall, so this is Team, Ma Team Flare Mabel, an admin. She's gonna, we're gonna fight her again later. And her level on Houndoom is actually going to go down. What? From one fight to the next. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, gonna grab this PP up here. It's actually very, very important to grab it. Gonna come in handy a little later. Yeah, if we had not used the PV up earlier, we could have skipped that one. But even still, in this kind in this situation, we could have just used both. Yeah, so pretty um, much you use the PP ups on uh, close combat for Lucario later, and you take it from five close combats to six close combats with one PP up. Um, but if you have the extra PP up that we used on Lucario or on a uh, Halucha earlier, that'll take it to seven. And that pretty much allows us to not have to hit more rock teams later. It just allows us to go a little safer sometimes. Yeah, exactly. A big one is uh, Champion, where like we usually have to hit a, a rock team on Champion. Uh, but if we do the seven plus combat strat, then we never have to hit it a uh, rock team on Champion. And that's just one of the many places where it can come in handy. But yeah. Always found that one nice, not having to hit the rock team on the very last fight. Although you sometimes, if you get flying press, actually, I think it actually doesn't matter if you close combat because you're still dead to shadow sneak. It's your one lower defense. Yeah, but you would just you would have to hit the rock team. Though. Yeah, in that case, you would rock team. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. So we're up, at, so we're getting uh, repeat balls from from Cena here. Pretty insignificant plot point, but right after that, we're gonna fight Kalem once again. The penultimate time, we're yep. gonna fight him one one more time after this. Theoretically, this fight is nearly impossible to die here, but it is possible. Yeah, I've died more than twice. I think three times. <laughs> Oh yeah, doesn't the date and time matter for this fight? Uh, uh, it actually does, yes. Yeah, if, um, you're, if your date and time's at a certain point, or whatever, you won't get hail on this fight, which is actually really, really nice. The windows for that are similar to winds, except they're a little bit more wide, so you can... It's like a half hour window. So you usually get it. Yeah, if you get double psychic there, maybe one of them crits, you can definitely die. Because we got fake out, we got the steadfast boost, so we outspeed the Shulteon, so we can just outspeed and, and one shot it here. Okay. Yeah, has random AI, so went for quick attack for some reason. So luckily we get free healed after this. Pretty yep. convenient timing. Yeah, it really is. To get it. Um, we're gonna have full HP for this executor, which really, really, really hits you hard. Um, you don't die to a crit, but you get hit over half. Yeah. Pretty much you um, get hit to where you're always forced to heal for Olympia. Almost always, yeah. yeah. Like, almost always. Um... But there is scenarios where you, you know, it, it low rolls you and then you don't have to heal for Olympia, which is always nice. 
Save it a menu. Oh, convenient spot the way out. <laughs> yeah, very important to, to drop that repel. Yeah, because really, we don't need the repel until literally, like, way longer from now. Fifty. Yeah. All rows of psychic will kill yeah, here. So unfortunately, you don't expect that. Yeah. You don't expect to have. You don't expect to not have to heal majority of the time. You just have to heal. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. For a. But yeah, regardless here, like even if you're. If you're on the higher end, you have, if you have like 58 or 59 HP, you're pretty likely to not get Psychic at all anyways, just because Light Screen should be very likely. For sure. Like if we get Reflect here, it would be very, 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 very unfortunate. You know what we gotta do? We gotta have a dire hit prepped in case we... What? In case we get a reflect there, Kappa. Oops. So you can just crit through reflect, easy. Genius. Save a turn. But yeah. I'd probably break even with the... Nah, I wouldn't. It would be slower. I guess getting hit for Psychic twice. Just because it's not easy to get a dire hit. Yeah. Uh -oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can't play around that yeah, really. Light, light screen is, is like. Free though, otherwise. Light screen is like over 95% to happen yeah. here, so it's like. Very nice. Uh, you guess we just win? Yep. We used to think this was a range until properly calped it. It's actually not. Yep. Makes this one even more free. Get fake out, gonna get this steadfast boost. See you later. But yeah, so here in a second is where armor candies and stuff are gonna come into play. Uh, there is some times where you can candy early before this next fight, but usually, or you know, if you didn't hit the optionals, you're not gonna candy before the next fight, but there is some times, I guess. That'd yeah, so basically really it doesn't really matter what your HP is here. Yeah. Um, because... So we're gonna fight Scrafty. It's Scrafty, very bulky Pokemon. Um, so it... Almost... It, the majority of the time it will live. The move that you use. Yeah. Um, and so it has four moves. One of them is High Jump Kick, which will kill you from full. And the other three... Do next to no damage. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't really, really matter if you're on. Uh, there's, yeah, there's nothing you can do. It's just a 15, it's a five and sixteen range, and yeah. uh, yeah, it's just one in four to use high jump kick, and also I mean high jump kick can miss, so not that likely to die, but it definitely can happen and has happened. Uh, me and Head Bob. For sure. It's one of the more more likely deaths in the run, I'd say. Probably like yeah, fifteen, ten to fifteen percent to die. With the revive, it loses around 40 seconds or so. Yeah. Rage. Sick rage. Yeah, that's super silly. 
We don't have Lucha, and we're just gonna revive Lupario. Um, and the way with experience works on this game, we can literally just finish the fight with Halucha here. Yeah, so Halucha gets full experience, and Lucario gets full experience, so it doesn't actually matter. Yeah. Just get the level here on Halucha, it's just a little slow, but... Just 1 in 4 to get a high jump kick there, I mean, it just literally can't do anything about it. It sucks, but... It's nice. Nice. Yeah, so we're gonna beat this live hard, and then after that we're gonna hit 51 pretty narrowly. Which is perfect, because we can just candy twice to 53 and then use all our proteins to make this following fight a lot better. Before we use all the proteins... Um... For this run, um, this would have been a 14 to 16 range on this fight's Gyarados. Which, generally, if you miss, you die. Yeah. <laughs> Always like using the proteins here. Get to just you, mash A. You use them pretty quickly. So this is where Lapras comes into play. Um, Lapras is one of the only Pokemon you can get up to this point where after testing we've seen that if you swap into Lapras it is very likely to use Outrage to kill you because it's, it's his most damaging move. And Outrage is exactly what we want so that it traps itself into Outrage when we come back to Lucario. So that we can yeah, set up on Angulate. Yeah, but also take an Earthquake too. Swap into it and take the Earthquake. Yeah. Very important. Yeah, we're gonna have, go ahead and swap to Lapras. Here it is, ideally use Earthquake right now. Good stuff. You get out, Rich. Okay. Exactly which one. So now Gyarados is locked into Outrage, so now we can just swap back into Lucario and set up Swords Dance. And right, that Rock Tomb and we win. There's also a Rock Tomb where <clears throat> if you miss it and then he hits through Confusion there, he just kills you. Wacky attack. It's yeah, so a very nice getting past Lissandre. Lissandre is definitely one of the battles that can just you know, really, really troll you. He just like that Gyarados just decides, you know, to crit your Lapras or not go for Earthquake or not go for Outrage. You can just lose you so much time. wallet fight, nothing too crazy about it. We just gotta go to plus six, probably. Depends on what it uses. Yeah, but sometimes you go to plus four. If we get double stockpile here, we're gonna go to plus six. She got Swallow, which is ideal. Wait, so if you get double what? There you go to plus four, or plus six. We got a double stockpile. Okay, yeah. But it can use spit up or it can use yeah. um, swallow. It appears to be random. Yeah, nothing too crazy about these fights coming up. I mean, Mario just handles these fights so well. Yeah, so we're going to be put in a position here where 
We're gonna get hit by Dread again because we can't one shot it. Um, usually in this section, you're put in this position where after the next fight, we get crit there, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna have to heal for some of the later fights. The Toxic Croaks we can't one shot and they can damage us. So we're gonna have to heal before the fights that have Toxic Croaks and also the fights that have Gold Bats. Um, and that just becomes the most convenient spot to use the PPF that we got on close combat that we're gonna get after this yeah. fight. So like, there is some times where you literally can just delay the PP up for a long time if you don't ever have to heal in this place. Yeah. Nice diagonal. Thanks. Uh, it's pretty tricky to do. Where this fight's just a two turn fight, and then we get close combat after this. We're gonna hit 55. And close combat is just obviously close combat. It's just really, really good. Yeah, so now, you, now if you're just paying attention, we're now like 10 levels higher than our yeah. opponents. Exactly. So just, that's kind of how the lucky egg is. It just kind of. You just kind of keep building and building experience. And since Generation 6 Pokemon games don't have scaled experience, um, you can make full use of the boosted experience. Just be massively overleveled. So now that we're, we PP up and we're full HP, kind of looking good for these next couple fights, so... Yeah, so this Toxic Croak here has Mud Bomb, which can definitely yeah. throw you. Definitely can. Okay. <laughs> Didn't get the accuracy drop, which is nice. Sucker Punch annoying, but it's fine. Still shouldn't have to heal. We have a Golbat coming up. Ideally, we don't get Acrobatics. Yeah. Or else we really might be in an issue. Where Probably won't have to heal if that happens. Yeah, not that big of a deal, but we'd have to yeah. heal again. Mm -hmm. Could just get something useless like Mean Look. And then we don't have to heal at all. Spinner there. Just take your time on it. Be easy. We see a good move here. Hopefully, hopefully. Acrobatics. We're gonna have to heal after this fight. Very unfortunate, but not too big of a deal. Yeah, healing's obviously just slow because, you know, opening your bag and closing your bag and HP coming up. Yeah. Definitely adds up when you do it a couple times. Otherwise, you know, you shouldn't have to. Whatever you can do, really. There you go, punch. Yep. Did you heal? Even if even I had known that was going to happen, I still would have had to heal for the Crowbat coming yeah. up later. So, not the end of the world. I'm not too stressed about it. We're going to fight um, Mabel again, like I said. Hound Doom level is going to go down. 48.
This fight's free. Just click the, the War Sphere button. She get, gains a Weavile. Not exactly gonna be too much help for her. Too much more help for her. Today we coming up we have one of the bigger or the biggest break of this run. Definitely comes at a nice point, you know, the run you definitely probably thirsty or need to go to the bathroom or something and comes at a nice point. Absolutely. It's a very healthy break too, so you can do a lot of yeah. stuff that's like three minutes long. Exactly. Just watch Watch AZ's whole story unfold. Kinda of what this is. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Me too. So, enjoy this Bible Thump moment. Yeah, I'll be... I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. AZ. Mm -hmm. Hurdle moment. Should I check the timer? <laughs> I haven't checked it all this run. Uh, I haven't either. I think this is like... I think I think this could sub-estimate. I think there's a chance. No, Let's no see. way. I think it's gonna be sub-4, maybe. Yeah, it's... no, it's 100% sub-4. Definitely sub-4 pace. I think it potentially could. I'm a believer. Yeah, definitely a very nice break to have in the run, though, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Comes in clutch. That's a good thing about the 3DS games, there's... Breaks aren't too long, but Gen 6, I mean, <laughs> Gen 7 is a different story, but. Not yeah, too just... many breaks, but just enough where it's it's nice. This is basically the only break in the run. Um, yeah. Uh, that's actually not true, but. I mean, only... yeah, there's one immediately after. Yeah, like only minute, but... substantial one, really. There's a pretty much only one in Oras, and it's a bit shorter. That's like the only like stress-free break you can take in the run, and like really walk away and have time to do something. <coughs> I 
I mean, it really was just the bunnies. <laughs> the bunny trolled us so hard. Yep. Compared to like first encounter bunny that lost like what five minutes? Oh Not yeah, really? it was like a bro, it was like a fifteen bottle beat. Dirty twice. Elmar kind of got things going for it. Contrary superpower, pretty decent combo. Unfortunately, it just, you know, just hit it a couple times. Their, their fists. Yeah, so you get that break and you come back and hit this button and you get another, like, minute break. Yeah. <laughs> Where I can do exclamation points slot. You know, this this, this town is just gonna get obliterated. Don't really know what these people did to deserve this, but yeah, I hope they have good home insurance. I guess they do. Of course, I remember Jordan. I've been trying. Oh, I'm lucky. You know, those houses just kind of flipped over. They must, have, they must have a good home insurance to just make them stay intact like that. Yeah. Very impressive. They just fall backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Wish our houses did that. <laughs> That's what happens when it gets windy. It just falls backwards. <laughs> Gonna go to GeoSynth now, gonna do some menuing stuff. Actually pretty important here, this, uh, this PC uh, allows you to uh, skip putting the legendary in your party later. Stuff. I think otherwise you would just put it in your party if your party wasn't full. Uh, yeah, it would put it in slot one actually. So yeah, it would, would put it in your party it. and it would force you to put it in slot one for the next fight. So very important to have your party full here with everything in it. And also it allows you to uh, PC heal your Lucario as well. Yeah. Pretty fast to do. Yep. Just works out conveniently that we have six Pokemon that we've gotten throughout the run as well. Oh yeah, and this uh, despite the the goal bat here is gonna be a range. Not really, can't really kill you or anything. It just probably sometimes force you to heal before the next fight. Yeah. And obviously it's just faster to get it. Don't think we got it. Yeah. I don't have to heal though, so that's nice. Sure. Unless I get earthquake. Wait, what can it hit you with there to put it put you in a heal range? Uh, crit, crit with probably. acrobatics, yeah. yeah. Caleb wants to protect his friends. The fact that 
Uh, acrobatics is so much more powerful than like wing attack. It really makes like these gold bats really formidable opponents. Like really actually scary. Another the Sanjay battle, it's gonna be the exact same as the one before. Yep. Or not the exact same, we're gonna be using different moves, but the idea is the same where we're gonna swap into the uh, Lapras and hope for get Earthquake into Outrage. Yeah, so the premise is the same. The only difference here is on this fight you have a chance to tank Earthquake. Um, if you swap out and swap back, if you like don't get Outrage on Lapras for whatever reason. But in this case you can't because I'm not actually at full HP. Um, so hopefully we just get Outrage to do some weird stuff if I don't. Hopefully just get the normal. Yep. It is pretty lightweight. Open the Lapras, same way we did last time. I did the Yerdes, use Earthquake right here. You can always use Earthquake, but it's just if it crits you or not. Now, hopefully, it goes Rot Rage. Very nice. I bet Bear can go for Aqua Tail, to be honest, because that wasn't at full HP and minus one defense, but I don't think it ever would. But it probably could kill. Sword Dance, get Outrage, nice, we get the three turns, so if we miss this, we actually okay. well, get we another did. chance, so it's fine. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so that's did the nice thing about getting the three turn Outrage there, is you actually get an extra turn if you do miss like that, so that was pretty nice. If there ever was a place to miss Rock Tomb, that was, Definitely, yeah. that was it. I think I'm just going to heal here. I think it makes the most sense. Yeah, might as well, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's quite play to heal there. Forgot you were that low. Yeah, I mean, this fight is this first fight is very consistent. Um, you just kill the Lipard, and Neo you know, Stick is very, very favored to kill the Psychic, uh, kill the Toxic with Psychic. Um, it can die in one shot. Um, often you will see Sucker Punch from this Lipard. Didn't for some reason, um, but if it crits that, it would it would kill it, and so the fight would be a Decent amount worse. But. I'm not experiencing them today. Yeah. <sighs> this next fight can be pretty annoying. It's another true double. I mean, all these fights are true double battles, but. Um, the Minetric can be kind of annoying. So, ideally, you know, ideally on these fights, you just see Caleb go for a fake out on the hope that you're not attacking on the first turn. Yeah, exactly. So like that's what that's the that's what you really want on these fights. I think so best scenario. Take out Minetric here would be really, really, yeah. really good. Like we're attacking Mightyena, so we want him to take out Minetric. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. He got static but it doesn't matter at all. Let's just die because it is minus special defense. Yeah. That's good because the metric can attack us. Potentially para us. I didn't know that was a range. Yep, me neither. Yeah, but yeah, the metric can para us. Also, can use roar, and you know, that can be stupid. Also, getting attacked at all in that fight is pretty bad, especially in this situation because I would have had to heal for the next fight, but now I don't. I don't know why I did that. We have to make sure to not leave our friends behind. 
you know, just pretty much just stick together, so definitely, definitely on our side with that one. However, Caleb doesn't seem to agree, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave her behind. Yeah, this fight you want, so we're gonna attack Scrafty on the first turn, so you wanna see fake out on Houndoom. It's actually pretty important, or it can be, because Houndoom can hit us pretty hard if it decides to. Hello, Etchy. Nice, what a clutch yeah, that was sick. That's very good. I'd love to see that. I'm pretty good. This what? I mean I guess you missed, but yeah. Yeah, I was like pretty good. Yeah. Fake out getting fake out on those is just really fast. Well being able to skip healing and stuff. Yeah, this is a very that that double fight right there is a very weird fight because um Fake out is like not uncommon, like you just saw. Fake out on that Houndoom. But it has the potential to do a lot of damage to you. So if you're not at full HP, you can just die at a flamethrower. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's like a risk you sometimes just can just take and be fine most of the time. But like, yeah, it's still a risk. Indeed. So we're almost done with this flare section. Easily my least favorite part of the game. Um, just like yeah. Yeah, it just kind of drags a little bit. It just it just drags a bit. There's no, there's really no place like this in, um, like an Oras or something like that. It feels like the there are grunt sections, but they're not as extensive as they are in this game. I really like everything after this part. It just. Yeah, exactly. It just it get, it, get, it gets really fast paced after all this section. So. For almost yeah. done, we're gonna get our we're gonna get our legendary. Yeah, exactly. We still have another uh, Lissandra fight coming up, which uh, first ever usage of Mega in a trainer battle. Right. Never mind, I lied. Or, yeah. Is the Karina fight that where it actually matters? He actually plays himself. True, it does make him worse. Oh, probably should do this. <laughs> Yeah, so the reason, so you, there's four admins here you have to fight. Uh, intuition would say that fighting the one in the front first would be the fastest, and it is. However, um, it's a Manectric that has static. So if you get static, you're paralyzed the whole time for these admins. So we have just the ability to just fight him last. Or, for last. Yeah. And be good. So yeah, unlike the swallow up before, this one really likes to use stockpile like a lot consistently. You'll pretty much always see stockpile three times. Yeah, we just sword twice and close combat twice. Yeah. Still feels like that struggles to kill. It's pretty close, yeah. I think with proteins it might make a difference, to be honest. And yeah, not like this fight is scary or anything, but just, you know, static can be slow. Probably it's just the easiest one out of all of them, it's just, you know, yeah. It doesn't really matter if you get static now, because we just get a free lap fight anyway, so. Yeah, Chilling. exactly.
This is one of the better themes in the game, for sure. Yeah. I can agree. It's like a journey throughout this theme. Indeed. Yeah, this also would be one of the main differences between running X or Y, obviously. You get your volatile here. Doesn't really matter, the difference. You can do, you can run X or Y. Very minimal differences there. I do like playing on X because you get to see Xerneas transform from the, like, the regular form to the active form throughout the cutscene. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Like it's antlers like laid up. No luxury balls. We got it. Third ball, Halusha. Yeah, I remember that. About two years ago, caught that Halusha. Xerneas gonna say no to put it in our party, and then the game's gonna be like, are you sure you wanna, don't want to put it in your party? And then, yeah. That only happens because our party's full, otherwise it would just put it in our party and automatically slot one. Yep. We don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Oh, Wanley. Four tabs ahead. Joe. Who's Joe? I'm gonna hit a rock in here. Thank you. So now he's gonna uh, Mega Evolve with his charge out here, and it's actually. Uh, helps us quite a bit. Yeah, it helps us quite a bit because he transforms into a dark type, and then we just close combat and body and plays himself. I feel like this fight would be so much more dangerous if it was still water flying. Yeah, we'd have to do so. <laughs> I mean, no, we'd already be set up, just rock in, probably. I wouldn't kill. Definitely wouldn't kill. Yeah. Probably have to give a plus four. I think plus three wouldn't even kill. To be honest. Yeah, that... I gotta agree. Andre's theme isn't the best. But it's still, it's still not too bad. I enjoy it. Is that an and an? Let's go. So, despite the fact that we just beat Lissandra, Team Flare tries to destroy the world anyways. Yep. So, yeah. Launch this giant flower, beam, whatever. But, I mean, Happens evidently... Lissandra, that's open to, you know, interpretation, I guess. W. Evidently their science is not that smart here because they just blow up their own flower with their own beam. Just come back and hit them.
Despite all of this, the house is still intact. Unbelievable home insurance. So welcome back, AZ. He's very tall. Yes. Tells us about his life story. Again. I want to say this from 355. We got a long way to go. Yeah. Not nice, Tucker. Imagine if this would have been the difference between like if this if this would have been potentially the first run to go over estimate, and I'm just fighting for my life trying to get there. <laughs> I blame it on the 24 encounters before Bunnelby. <laughs> That's a reasonable blame, I'd say. Yeah, gotta do some mini mini stuff. Gotta repel, heal. Yeah, you gotta be careful there. Um, potentially there's a encounter in that bush. You wanna yeah. try and yeah. Whenever you come across that patch of grass, you wanna make sure you're holding the bottom. That way you're the furthest away from that bush. That way it can't you know, get you an encounter. It's not guaranteed for an encounter to be there. It just could be. Yeah. Put our repels up. We're gonna keep our repels up for the rest of the game now. I think We're most now we only have one gym left. Right. All the team flare stuff done. Yep. Now you get past that. Now we get to just finish out the game. Always like this part of the game. Everything just speeds up. You never get the range. Yeah, unfortunate. That is a 9 and 16 range there. They've missed like all the ranges this run. Besides, the only one I've gotten, I think, was Town Doom. Yeah, taking damage there, not that big of a deal, despite being at minus one for that damage. Yeah. Just... Get a rock from that Charizard, it's nice to not miss that Charizard. Yeah. I don't even know what it has, but... It's got... It only has one move that kills you, it's like some fire move. And it has random AI, so it's not that dangerous. So yeah, these these next three fights we're gonna fight all our rivals again except for Kalem. And these fights are wildly underleveled. Yeah, these fights really don't aren't really too hard. Uh, the only one that can be kind of annoying is the last one, uh, the Trevor battle. Yeah. But even then, it's not too bad. pretty hard to actually die to these fights. One thing I do like about playing X is just all the different Pokemon you get to see throughout the run. It's just I know, I love that. <laughs> you didn't get to see so many different Pokemon. The poke diversity in this game, not only the ones you see in the trainer battles, but also the ones like in the grass that you can use. It's like super sick. It's like a mix of like a bunch of different games, like kinda why I like it so much.
speed. This rock team is sometimes fatal to miss, so we don't want to. Thanks. Yeah, gotta set up a swords dance on this Roserade. It's actually its only move, Petal Dance. Does not have any other moves. And our close combat's last just perfectly to that point as well. Now we're gonna get a free heal after this battle. And get everything replenished. So, works out perfectly. We're gonna hope for the best here. All right, nice. Very nice, yeah. So Very yeah, good. that's a that's a riskier fight, but it does save more time to do it that way because now uh, risk static on the Raichu, uh, but perfect. That Raichu will always pretty much go for Nuzzle, so it's just it, it, it gets rid of the whole chance of getting Nuzzle. Yeah. Yeah, Nuzzle. Pretty much always, like, no, it always paralyzes you, and it's very likely to use it, so... By setting up on Raichu, you're basically just accepting you're gonna get paralyzed, and you gotta heal it off. So it yeah. loses a lot of time. Also have to save the close combat, right? Yes. Oh, rock something. Something rock team something? Yeah. The, uh, whatever. Roganol on Ulfric, maybe? I don't know if that kills. Yep, it does. Also, don't have to heal for Wolfric either, which is nice. Yep. Sometimes can happen if you get trolled by Raichu. Yep. Stuff here. Go above that trainer, Walker. And we come to the worst theme in the game. Don't worry, though, we'll only be here for a couple seconds. back. Go to Wolfric Shrim. Wolfric Shrim isn't too crazy. Cario is just obviously really good in this gym. Yeah, the fact that they made the last gym an ice gym is kind of a questionable decision. Ice is not a great type. So basically, there's, yeah, actually nothing in this gym that you don't kill. You can miss Rock Team a couple times, but that's basically it. Yeah, we are going to have to use an extra Rock Tomb because uh, of the strat we did on Trevor, but we do.
Yeah, some of the diagonals of the gym are one of the tougher ones, some of the tougher ones. Um, the first two that I just did, definitely way harder than the next two. Just because of the angles that you come at them from. Yeah, exactly. Puzzle stuff. Uh, this next fight is actually a fight where if you had the extra close combat, extra PP up, uh, you could save the Rock Tomb or save, not use a Rock Tomb. No, it also saves super effective, super effective text, yeah. Yeah. Not that that actually really matters in Gen 6 because, again, the text is really, really fast. Yeah. yeah. Three rock tombs here, two of them are on this fight. If you had yeah. more close combats, wouldn't really have to hit any rock tombs, yeah. but. Yeah, at this point, our Lucario is just really separated. So, level, like, levels. Yeah, definitely. Your hands up in the air. See you later, Jinx. Well, they ain't paying attention. Kind of messed up. Oh, what? You, uh. You just caught off guard. You just murdered her. <laughs> Thankfully, we can just click the aura sphere button so that things just, you know, die. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Missing Rock Team on Wolfrex Cryagonal would be pretty unfortunate because I think it will just use Confuse Ray. Which is obviously yeah. not what you want to see. Wolfric. Fun fact, Wolfric is three tiles wide. Yeah. So if you try to talk to him from the side, you will bonk into nothing. Not really three tiles wide, he's like just over one tile wide. Like a little bit over the edges on the other ones. Three tiles long as well, that's crazy. No, it's not, he's not three by three, no. No, he, he said two tiles long. Oh really? Damn. Yeah. Didn't know that. Two by three. It's insane. I feel like it's just Nintendo fat shaming. It's just not okay. Not at all.
Ice Beam, good TM. Using, yep. you know, different Pokemon. If only, if only we needed it. Yeah. This is pretty cool, though, I guess. If only this were here for the beginning. Yeah, just cut across the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> How are those trainers gonna get out of there, though? Yeah, for real. They, do they know the solution to the puzzle? Hope so. Imagine they're just in there one day and they just forget, trapped in there all night. Okay. <laughs> Could have been bad. Yeah, that that part can be kind of tricky. That that chick, she she spins really really fast. And... No, I bonked. I bonked. Yeah, yeah, like, I saw you walk into the into the stairs and then. Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird how that happens. When you bonk and then you don't expect you're bonking, and then you go up and then you potentially go up too far and then. Exactly. Yeah. Stealth rocks good. Very fast. Right here. Wow. Kind of close. I mean, I was wildly. Victory Road, uh, not many made it there, like, yeah, not too many trainers here, definitely some, but, uh, yeah, they're more towards the end of the, end of yeah. Victory Road, um, we're only gonna fight one here who has one poke, uh, before our rival, the last definitely time we fight our rival. execution heavy here as well, too, execution stuff to do. Okay. I tried so hard. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Morning. Yeah, we are a nice level now. I think I'm waiting for the uh, Machamp guy. Fair enough. It took so long to talk to her there. <laughs> Weevil? Wow. It just happened. Maybe not. Because you KO'd Got murdered, yeah. That's no way. I just accept the fact that any any Pokemon that is dark and ice <laughs> will die to fighting. <laughs> it's okay. Where Matt, we got all the E4 left. Got some stuff. Yeah, some good stuff. Okay, so we're teaching Shadow Call back there. We actually taught over it earlier, but actually we need it back for not only the next fight, but for some more fights later and also uh, fights in the E4. Oh, wow. That's that not where I thought that was going. That, that, that karate guy can just be, his cycle's really weird. That's not where I thought he would be at all. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, Aura Sphere got us this far, but simply no need for it anymore. Right. There's a couple ghost types, both in Victory Road and okay, I could have gone there, but and in E4 that you just really can't do without Shadow Claw. We're just gonna get in the skates, I guess. This makes makes sense. You gotta go back. You gotta go right then left. Yeah. It's so weird. What is happening? Okay. That I thought is I knew a, how to that fix is a that. Six moment. I really don't understand why that happens or why. I thought that I happens. knew why that happens, and then. Yeah, I thought I, I thought all you had to do was just go right and left, but apparently that's not the case. That was really weird. Not good though.
Yeah, very rude. Um, so yeah. Um, last fight with Kalem. <laughs> I'm just sitting there waiting for me to just go on with the bike there. Uh, that's just called suicide. Oh, come on! <laughs> My career is over. <laughs> True, net time save. I didn't even see what happened, I wasn't even watching, but assuming something good happened. I didn't, I, I got off the bike for the double fight, and I'm being called a chicken no, I meant like, it. uh, this fight. Oh yeah, I just got fake-ups, I think, yeah. That movement is just so scary, not getting off the bike. Yeah. So we're just gonna take the uh, free heal after this, and we're just gonna have a YPV maxed and full HP, really. Oh, yeah, it's really excellent. convenient that the that the ranger here is just a free heal. It's perfectly placed for us. Pretty sure there's backup strats you can use to, if you do forget the free heal, but if you ever run this game, please do not forget this free heal. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. More movement stuff. That's really the last bit of movement in the run. Mm -hmm. Everything else is really just straightforward. True. Good job. Like I've seen the Valerie. I've never seen anybody use the Valerie backup. But like, yeah, there. Wow, I haven't gotten sword dancer in so yeah, long. There is very good. Love to see it. Yeah, yeah, so we have a chance here for there to be a random encounter outside of this place. Uh, Hopefully that doesn't shadow. happen. That doesn't happen. Thanks. Very nice. Good job. Didn't get an encounter on the Rock Smash. We're there. I complained. Yeah. I'd say that this fight coming up on this Trevenant, uh, this is probably one of the better crits, if not the best crit in the game. Ah, uh, yeah. Easily the best crit in the game. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure World Record gets this crit. Uh... It's just, it's just an insane crit, really. It takes so much time. He did not crit. That curse. Curse this is, is like second best no-go. Yeah. yeah, this is why critting so much faster, though. You're gonna see what I do here. It's gonna be very cringe. Now we're forced to swap to the Halucha because we are just dead to uh, Earthquake now. And we're gonna swap. It's gonna use Earthquake here, obviously. Or okay. Attack, Please hit. Oh, you Sandstorm. That's so strange. It protected into Sandstorm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, didn't protect, protect again though, yeah. It can protect again there and kind of just troll you, but luckily it didn't. If he, protect, if he gets protect there, you lose a close combat, and you have to, as a result, Swords Dance plus Rock Team this Glaceon. 
And this could be really exactly. cool too, because it has Blizzard and it can freeze you. Yeah, exactly. And literally all that can be avoided by simply just creating the Trevenant. So you can see why that crit is just so good. Yeah. And it's actually not even that unlikely to crit. Shadow Claw is a high crit rate move. So one and eight. One and eight to get the best crit in the game. Yeah. And it still just never happens. Yeah, no way, surely. <laughs> What's up, Dom? Mortab, can you believe that this run is 25th encounter bunny? I cannot believe that. Still. I almost beat my record. I was like a couple off, like 27 or something, I think is my record. Alright, I just started 4 but first we're gonna go to the PC again, heal up Vicario, deposit all of our other stuff. A backup bunny after like 15. Imagine. Not even in the 30s. Yo, <laughs> Lucario, pause it, everything else. I'm gonna save for all these fights except yeah. for Asna, I think. Yeah, that'll matter a little later while we deposit everything there. Up to. E4 in this game is definitely an E4. Uh, all these fights can definitely use you time. <laughs> to one of the E4s of all time. Yeah, it's definitely one of the E4s. Definitely, uh, yeah, things can happen here. Still in double noble roar. I don't know. That never happens though. Yeah, so Malba, not only do we have to set up on the Pyro, we also are probably, or you're always forced to hit a Rock Tomb for your life on this fight. Uh, there's a couple of those in the E4. This is one of the reasons E4 can be pretty fun. Yeah, so... It also makes it really hype when things go really well and you just get a crazy good E4. Yeah. yeah. I feel like just don't die. Yeah, so pretty much we're gonna have the Swords Dance on this Pyro. It's either gonna go for Flamethrower, or it's gonna go for Nova Roar. If it goes for Nova Roar, we have to set up another Swords. We get the Flamethrower. I uh, didn't get burned, that's good, so we're just gonna go ahead and go. Plus two, so that's fine. Nice and safe. Just hit Rock yep. Team and win. Yeah, exactly. So now we're just forced to hit Rock Team. Put this Talon Flame right here. Yeah. It hit, lovely. Very good. And there's a situation, there is sometimes where uh, on the Shandu Roar you would go for Rock Tomb. Uh, and that's mainly if you get like double Noble Roar. Then, uh, that makes it so you don't have to heal after the next fight at all. But it also, uh, when you're higher HP, you can just go for uh, one of the Shadow Claw. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Just, yeah, it completely eliminates the risk of using Rock Tomb. The Shadow Claw can uh, give you Flame Body. So. It doesn't really matter when you're at low HP, you always go for Shadow You're healing Claw anyways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna heal anyways. So even though I'm not really gonna need four stars for the rest of the run, I'm I'm gonna hyper here anyways, so I don't have to use one. Yeah, and that's that's also the the, the fight where you really want to have a four restore for, because if you yeah. get burned on the pyroar, you just have to four restore.
I think this I think this is a one of the E4s where the fight triggers earlier, so I'm just gonna save on the save on this tile. Fight is another fight where um, buff key. I mean, this ideally the the best way this fight goes is what you get. You get a dazzling gleam into torment. That's yeah, the torment best into place. yeah. A dazzling gleam into torment is what you would want to see. Uh, if you get double and dazzling gleam, you're always gonna be healing. We'll see what happens. There's a dazzling gleam. Did we get torment right now? Yeah, that's perfect. Good. The perfect fight. That's exactly how you want the fight to go. But now that we got torment, we are going to have to hit a rock tomb on this Roba Pass, um, and that's to break it sturdy. We need to do. There's earth power, and that hits us to a very specific HP where it matters. Uh, you want to be a lower roll or a high roll. Yeah, you want to be a you want to be below a certain HP threshold for uh, this cloak right here, Aegislash. Slash. Uh, you want to explain kind of why? Yeah, I mean, it's basically just so that um, it decides to go to for an attacking move to kill you over just um, yeah. using King Shield. The King Shield here would be really bad because Shadow Claw makes contacts, and as a result, your attack would be harshly lowered. Exactly. And also, Headbomb's so forced to heal here because he is in range to die to Bullet Punch, which it's always going to use when you're in range to die to it. Forced to heal. Now it doesn't have to heal for the next fight either, so. Yeah. So it's kind of like, whatever, we have to heal here, but now we don't have to heal after the fight. So, not too bad. I'm not bad. sure what I want to do here, to be honest. Because I wanted to Swords Dance times 3 for Drasna, but I can't do that if I decide not to heal here. I mean. Whatever you're feeling. I would have to hit a rock tomb. I think just one. I mean, if you go, if you go plus three, I mean, it shouldn't matter, right? Plus six? No, but I'm saying I can't tank three from Dragalgy oh, at this HP. Of, yeah. yeah. Just heal. I think I'm just gonna save and go. Yeah, you need to hit a rock tomb. Yeah, so there's two different ways you can do this fight. You can either go to plus six with Swords Dance and then just Shadow Call everything, or you can go to plus four and then uh, you're forced to hit a rock tomb on the Noivern. So it's really just pick your poison. Setting up the plus six really isn't that slow and it just makes the fight completely free. Also, I can get crit here, so I can. Yeah. Um... If I get crit, then I'll heal in the fight and then go to plus six. So, whatever happens, happens. Or PB up, but I yeah, was forced exactly. to use it. Yeah, yeah, if you have the extra PP up, yeah, this is one of the other scenarios where you uh, can... You have that, that extra PP up, you can actually just uh, close combat the Noivarn here. Yep. Forgot about that. Seven PP ups, or the seven close combat strats. Good. Okay, yeah, yeah. did hit the Rock Team. Very good. Seven close combats, man. It's just way too good. It's too good, yeah. That's why I, was, I really wanted to not have to use it. But it's just like... Yeah, I mean, even, I, even I, I used it, and I still got books. It's just like, <laughs> and you always want to make sure you're above, uh, you're gonna be above what you're gonna be 25 HP or higher going into this, into the yeah, uh, into the road again. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Low classical cat. Yeah, so we're gonna do a bit of minion here. Uh. We're actually done with the Lucky Egg now because we're actually going to uh, equip the Lucario Knight and use 
It's gonna be the one of uh, one of the or actually the only battle we mega evolve on. I would say. Where it's uh, like not required, yeah. Yeah, one where it's not. Yeah, exactly. Even though we mega evolve, and we're gonna be going uh, whatever we're gonna be going plus two or whatever. Uh, the Gyarados on Seabolt is still a 15 and 16 range, and if we do miss the range, I mean, it just kills us every time. And this yep. this is a big shout out to the uh, six protein strat. Um, yes, absolutely. It, it makes this fight a million years better. Uh, yeah, it's one of the big reasons why six proteins is really, really good. Although, what's what's the range without the uh, protein? It is 11 range? and 16. Yeah, the Gyarados is an 11 and 16 range without the six protein. But yeah, you're literally just forced to hit that 11, 16, or just lose the run. So. Or 12 with Rock Tomb, I think, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Or Tab would know. Yeah, it just, the protein's just actually the god item. Great. So for the best here. Right. And there's also a weird AI on this fight. 11 and 16 for both. Okay, makes sense. Sometimes this Gyarados can actually choose to be weird and uh, just go for Earthquake right away on turn one. I don't know why that do why it does that sometimes, but I don't really remember the Really bad, but it does. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much just a loss. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure you just die, right? You can live it, but it's like... It's going to run a Mega. It'll be the only fight in the game where we have to Mega. I mean, besides the two swarms. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, what's up? Okay, so we're gonna go for Short Dance. We're gonna go for Dragon Dance, exactly what you want. Now you just close combat, hit the range. Thanks. Very good. Alright, very nice. Thanks, 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 thanks. Definitely a big barrier to get through, so very happy there. And I'm not sure what Headbob's gonna do here, but there is two different ways you can Me do the neither. Champion. There's two different ways you can do the champion fight here. You can either mega and pretty much guarantee a win. Uh, yeah, or I'm not mega, can, I guess. Or you can just, you know, uh, not mega and just sword dance on the Halucha and uh, have to hit a extra rock tomb on the Aurorus. Bro, that's just insane. I can't win, it's just chicken or patronize. <laughs> At least I know it's a save here, so. To the rock too. I knew Wartab was gonna say that. Yeah, I really like this theme. It's grown on me. It used to not be my favorite, but actually, I can get down with it now. Yeah, I already know. I'm gonna get flying press crit. You can die, yeah. Okay, now we cannot die. GG. So yeah, even though the Mega Evolve is slightly slower there, it makes the fight 100% free. So definitely understandable using the Mega. I can, I can definitely get down with Mega Evolving just to finish. And then it just randomly goes for Shadow right. Sneak and Chris. I think that would probably kill. I don't know. 
all things considered and how this run is going or went, the Mega Evolving is not crazy. What is yeah, this? makes sense. What is what? Oh, uh, time. Yeah. I think it's like a 356, if I had to guess. I'm not even looking at the timer, I'm just literally going off field. Oh wow, it's better than I thought. This is a subestimate, I think. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy with that start, the fact that this is 25th encounter bunny and you're still subestimating. Estimate, I mean... Definitely a respectable time and a very good run with the cards you were dealt in the beginning. Time is not yet, by the way. Yeah, the time is when I... It's the fade to black after I die to Uzi. Yeah. Very, very nice run. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I will. No worries, fortunate. Considering I didn't really practice that much, I'm really happy with how I played. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the other game was very unfortunate, but I mean... Yeah. What can you do? Yeah, I'm literally not mad about it. I'm just, yeah. I'm glad I got to yeah, show this no, run off. And absolutely. Yeah. Definitely a good run. And uh, definitely a fun game to play. This game is it's definitely a game, but if you can just, you know, learn the game... And just have fun with it. It's definitely a fun game to play. The grind for the top end runs definitely gets brutal, but I mean, if you think about it, every Pokemon speedrun is, every speedrun in it's general, like that, it's yeah. pretty, gets pretty brutal at the top end. So, just yeah, play Pokemon X. It's a fun game. Gen Six is very good. We're actually going to show off the last Gen Six game after this run. So, pretty hype. Yeah, we've actually got to showcase all three here. Exactly. Insane. Imagine all three snuck in. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, but GG though. Definitely a fun run. Gen 6, definitely a... Have you got the 3DS capture card? Yeah, the 3DS games in general are really, really slept on. So. Yeah. Especially Gen 6, very, very beginner friendly. Yeah, for sure. If you just want to do a Pokemon speedrun, you happen to have a 3DS capture card for whatever reason, then it's a great game to start with. Yeah. Oras or X, both beginner friendly, I feel like, honestly. like Maybe Oras a little more, but they're both you know, very fun games to play. Or yeah, potato cam. Yeah. Or emulator. Yeah, you yeah. can emulator, potato cam, whatever you want. Congrats on dodging burn. And, and... Is coming up. Time. Nice. 354. 354. We made it, can't believe it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> GG's. Twenty fifth encounter bunny, very very impressive. I mean, it was honestly a very good run after, you know, like, you know, like not much went wrong. I feel like, yeah. But thanks, Headbob, let me commentate. This is a really good run. It's one of my favorite runs that I've played and that I get to watch. So, hope you all stick around and get to watch this 
uh, the final run of PSR Marathon. Fortunate uh, running Apple Sapphire. So. I hope you guys have really marathon this far. Yeah. A lot of great runs. Yeah, I'm honestly just so impressed that that was still underestimate. I, yeah. <laughs> I, had no, I basically, like, without seeing splits, it's so hard to grasp where the time's actually at. Uh, yeah. Like, and if it's still po even possible to be underestimate, but hey. Definitely, I'll definitely clutch, though. <laughs> yeah, this is a good run. Great showcase, of course. Thank you, thank you. As expected. All right, and uh, how long is this ending cutscene? We let it play out. Uh, we could. We could. I mean, the, credits are starting, to, the credits are starting in like less than a minute. So, okay. we'll let it play out. Credits. You're not expecting to sing. I'm yeah, not going to sing. No chance. <laughs> no singing? Aww. We, we didn't meet the, the incentive. <laughs> <laughs> I need you guys to stop. This is. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, there's the credits. Alright.